From booming Bluffton, South Carolina, WHHI-TV proudly presents this edition of the Bridge Bowl. In this chapter of the storied rivalry, the Hilton Head Island Seahawks target the mainland to battle the Bobcats of Bluffton right here at the Den. This 4A matchup is the first region game for both teams, each coming into today with three region play records of three wins versus two losses. Head coach B.J. Payne leads the Seahawks flock that fuels a high-octane offense driven by quarterback Jackson Bybee and running back Troy Timko. The Seahawks' staunch defense is led by North-South All-Star Shake Thompson, a player to watch. Head coach Hayden Gregory heard to this group of Bobcats, led by quarterback Owen Bays and wideout Brandon Bryant, while linebacker Jeremiah Curry leads a ferocious Bobcat defense. The game may be tonight, but the pride lasts forever. Legends will be made right now in this rivalry for the ages. Buckle up, it's the Bridge Bowl, only on WHHI Sports TV, and it starts right now. Welcome in to the den. Kevin Libby, Daniel Court, what a night we have for football. DC, are you excited? Yes, I'm always excited. I tell Marcus every week, there's never enough Friday nights, man. These are the ones that count. We're talking about a region game tonight. Both teams, three wins, two losses. Went to overtime last year. I'm worried about the potential for a barn burner. What do you think? Definitely a barn burner. Um, I just talked to B.J. Payne. I think these teams match up very well together. The quarterbacks obviously know each other very well. Uh, they were both played for, they were they were on a two platoon quarterback system for Hilton Head last year. A um, lot of skill at the quarterback positions, a lot of skill outside for both teams. I think the biggest question I have tonight is how is Bluffton's sometimes susceptible defense going to hold up against the really big um, electric playmakers of Hilton Head? That's going to be an interesting question. And how is Hilton Head going to do against a quarterback that knows him quite well? The storylines abound. We are here for it. We have coaches' interviews. We're going to do a little bit more fun stuff for you. But at some point, you're going to find a kickoff. You all come back now. You hear? Appliances by Design was founded on Hilton Head and is serving the low country. We're local owners, industry professionals, and we're here to help. When you're ready to replace that mattress with some quality sleep, we've got you covered. We've got the best prices on well-known brands like Beautyrest to support the highest quality of sleep. Get the quality you need for the best price. Plus, we do delivery, installation, warranty work, so you get service like you've never had before. Appliances by Design. 20 Hatton Place, Hilton Head Island, next to Barnes & Noble. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. at Chicken Salad Chicken, and we are ready for the 2023 football season. Stop by today and grab a quick chick, some cookies, a gallon of iced tea, or a fresh made lemonade to enjoy at your tailgate party. I'm here with visiting coach uh, BJ Payne of the Hilton Head Seahawks. Coach, you've had a good season so far. I said early on, y'all are one of the best teams, not only in this area, but in the state that no one was really talking about preseason. What are your thoughts on that? Um, yeah, you know, we, we kind of knew that too. We thought we were kind of the best kept secret, and we were okay with that. You know, yeah. um, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what accolades come or people talk about you or not. You still got to show up on Friday nights and play. You know, we've done that. You know, of our five games, four of them, I thought, you know, we were there. One game, we kind of got off the bus and weren't really ready. Yeah. And um, but you know, we learned from it, and, and hopefully that doesn't stay with us, and we continue just to grind and get better every day. It's a great group of kids to to coach. 
Yeah, rivalry games, we always say you got to throw out the record, you know, and especially tonight, you know, these te two teams seem pretty evenly matched on paper and on the field. You got two quarterbacks that know each other pretty well. What are your thoughts and what do you so see as some of the keys to this game? Well, I think, you know, it's kind of going to be who establishes the type of game that they want to. You know, they want an up-tempo, fast-paced game, and they want to spread the ball around and, and really, you know, move the field vertically. You know, uh, you know, we want to slow it down. You know, we want to ground and pound and, and run the ball and play action off of it. And, you know, it's going to be whoever establishes, you know, their, their dominance on offense and, and on the line. So that's where it always comes it down comes to. It comes down to those basics, doesn't it? Right, exactly. Well, Coach, good luck tonight. Um, we're going to go back to Kevin Libby, who has Coach Hayden Gregory. We'll see you shortly. My name is Quentin Miles, sales coordinator for Charleston, Bluffton, Hilton Head, Beaufort. Aflac has a proprietary cloud-based enrollment platform available to you at no employer cost. We help you manage your hiring and retention competitiveness, and we help your employees manage the rising costs of healthcare affordably. I've got 17 years experience to help you make the right decision with your employee benefits. Contact me today for more information. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Here at Island Tire, we like to provide you with peace of mind by using the best with Michelin tires. With 19 plants in North America, seven of those are here in South Carolina. Michelin makes it easy to support local giving because they provide the best quality, top leading innovation and service. Three things. Michelin and Island Tire and Automotive Services have in common quality, innovation, and service. Give us a call today. Did you know at FWDG we have furniture, dressless chairs, great quality mattresses, bedroom furniture, outdoor furniture, dining sets, and rugs. The Low Country's best furniture and mattress store, FWDG. Kevin Libby here with head coach Hayden Gregory. Coach, thanks for having us right here in your house. Absolutely, yeah. So in short time, tell us, who are the stars for your team tonight? Well, um, one of our best players on offense is Brandon Bryant. He's a receiver. Last week he caught for 344 yards, which was a Beaufort County record. So really excited about him. And then one of our stars on defense, Jeremiah Curry, number four. He's got a lot of Division One offers. He's a really good player. You're going to be able to see why tonight, Coach, strategy. Last year, this thing went to overtime. It was wacky. Yeah, it was. Uh, what are you telling the guys to keep them focused? Nothing really. You know, just keep to the game plan. Everybody do your jobs. Tackle, catch, throw. You know, just go out, play football, and have fun. That's the name of the game. It's a Friday night. Let's head on out to the chicken salad chick tailgate party. Take us there. We are here at Chicken Salad Chick out in Bluffton, and we are ready for some high school football. Yes, we you are. You guys are one of our tailgate sponsors. Thank you for that. Thank you. We're very excited to be a part. Yeah, and you know what? It's such a great place out here to grab and go, something perfect for tailgating. And yes. you want to talk to us today about your family pack. Yes, we have a family pack that is perfect for a family of four. And you can come through and pick this up. It is two of our one pound quick chicks, and you can get any flavors. Six croissants to put the quick chicks on to make sandwiches. Six cookies. One large side, and the one we have here is great salad, which we know is everyone's favorite, and your choice of a tea or a lemonade to go. And of course, the tea and the lemonade right now with it, how hot it is out there. Uh, and Perfect. this one's cold. Yeah. And some now. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna have, to, we're gonna have to break that open when we finish here. So let's talk a little bit about um, what you have to offer out here at Chicken Salad Chick, because it's such a great location, and you it have is. a drive through. Tell us where you are, what your hours are, and why you're excited for so this So it's season. such a beautiful store. We've been here about two years now. We offer a drive through as well as dining and patio. We are located off of Buck Walter Parkway, right in front of the Big Kroger. And let's talk a little bit about getting into fall, because, you know, here we are. We are at football season. Why are you guys excited to be a tailgate sponsor this year? And so, is there anything new that's going to be coming out this fall? I know sometimes you do a seasonal salad. We do a seasonal salad, but I have not been privy to that yet. Right, they released yet. it to us Next about time. a week ahead of time. But I will tell you that the most important thing for Chicken Salad Chick is just to be part of the community. Yeah. And what better way to be in the community than be with the high school football players and the parents and the teams. Absolutely. Well, Anne, thank you so much for sharing all about this with us. And make sure that you are getting out here to Chicken Salad Chick to pick up your family pack for your tailgate before the game. I think 
my biggest fear coming back to college was failure. I had failed before, but TCL really did give me that confidence. The professors really want you to achieve and accomplish your goals. And TCL made coming back to college really easy by making it fun, affordable, and providing that place for us to feel like we can succeed and make it work. I would tell somebody that if they wanted to change their life, that this is what they needed to do. Life is grand with a piano. Kauai Piano Gallery by Heron and Heron Piano Consignment serves Bluffton, Savannah, Charleston, Beaufort, and Hilton Head for piano sales, rentals, and service. Kauai Piano Gallery in Bluffton offers the full line of Kauai products, from hybrids and digitals to concert grand pianos. Quality pre-owned inventory includes Kauai, Steinway, Yamaha, Baldwin, and more. Also now offering lessons. Head to Kauai Piano Gallery by Heron.com. I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come see us during our 38th anniversary where we have 2023 F-150s at 1.9% financing. Call or come see me today only at OC Welch in Hardyville, South Carolina. Thank you very much. All right, guys, come in a little closer so I don't have to shout. All right, my name's Tim. I'm honored to be here. We're going to do the best job we can for you, okay? A couple of things before the game starts that I want to mention, all right? Good sportsmanship, all right? Don't do anything silly, all right? Don't retaliate because the second guy always gets caught, right? Best thing you can do is just walk away if you get mad, all right? All this chippiness and stuff, don't talk to the other players. Just play your game, all right? The other thing is your equipment. Keep your mouthpieces in while the ball's live. Do the best you can to keep your knees covered, all right? You guys do that, you won't even hear anything from us, and we'll have a good game, okay? We're going to introduce the rest of the crew, and then we'll have our coin toss. We have Mr. Hammonds, Mr. Kiefer, Mr. Humphreys. Our umpire tonight's Mr. Harley. He's going to step up here for the coin toss. As the visitors, you get the choice. The National Federation logo is tails. The state of South Carolina, which is painted red, is head. Call it loud enough for Sean to... Oh, there he is. <laughs> call it loud enough for Sean to hear it before I toss it, and it will hit the ground, okay? So what's your call? Tails. 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 And tails it is. So you win the toss. What would you like to do? You like to kick. Uh, no. No, you, you, you want to defer. All right. All right. So you want to receive the ball and you want to kick from the scoreboard. So you'll step around this way. Black, you'll step around this way. We saved you. Hey, have a good game, guys. Welcome in, everybody. It's the Bridge Bowl here in Bluffton, South Carolina. Moving across your screen from right to left, we have your kickoff. The Seahawks kicking to these Bobcats on the fly. The Bobcats on the return across the 30. Working out to about the 33-yard line. Well, they we will start first down and 10. Kevin Libby here with my partner, DC Dale Court. Dale, let me bring you in, buddy. We got the potential for a barn burner. We're just getting her started. How you doing tonight? I'm doing great, brother. It's good to see you here uh, sitting next to me at the at the at the Marcus Walsh seat of fame. But uh, those are those are big shoes to fill, Marcus Walsh. Marcus, we're thinking of you, buddy. He is out there in concert this evening. Yes. Now, if y'all are fans of the Low Country Look on that podcast that our good friend Justin uh, Jarrett runs, the JJ. We know Marcus is portraying Elvis this evening in the, the Choral Society. 
I hope he's wearing his blue suede shoes. <laughs> Marcus, we miss you, pal. Marcus using that golden voice to spread joy around the low country, isn't he? Marcus is the best. Starting from the gun, we have the handoff. It's going to go right up the gut. We're looking through the A-gaps for number six. That for your Bluffton Seahawks is Aiton Golfin. Yes. Bluffton Bobcats, forgive me. Well, Marcus, already <laughs> thinking of you, pal. <laughs> uh, from the gun once again, Golfin in the back, and he is going to get the ball. He's going to drive around the outside, around the outside. Not bad. That might be enough for a Bobcat first down. Yeah, we were talking about the Bluffton running backs. You know, we, we were told by coaches that their featured running back is Jeremiah Curry. He may be fighting some injuries, so it looks like Ethan Golfin's going to be carrying more of the load tonight for them. You know, it's interesting to me to see uh, Coach Gregory coming out and keeping this on the, on the ground. I'm sure that's uh, playing a little chess match here early with B.J. Payne because they're a, truly an air raid offense. He's going to put a man in motion into the backfield and go with the pass. It's going to be out across the 48 to the 45, down about the 43-yard line. After that first, Kevin Severe, State Farm first down. We're close to another one, second down and two Bobcats. Yeah, I like that. I, I say early, you know, in, in these games, uh, Kevin, that, you know, the, the best way to get a quarterback in, in, in a good rhythm and an offense for that matter, and a good rhythm is short passes. Um, you know, it, it keeps the defense honest early, and, but, but it just allows these quarterbacks to settle into to the flow and the speed of the game. From the shotgun once again up the middle, we're going to have a quick tackle there. Nice play by number 11 for Hilton Head. That is the all-star. That's Shake Thompson. Yeah, I mean, Hilton Head has uh, a whole list of dogs, as we like to call them, on, uh, on defense. You know, I... I, I said with B.J. Payne in our, in our pregame, you know, I think Hilton Head has been one of the least talked about teams coming into this season. But make no mistake about it, they're a threat every time they step on the field. It just depends on what team stepped off the bus tonight. That's the truth. Of course, he's going to the Shrine Bowl talking about Thompson. Let's take a look at his spread form from the shotgun. The Bobcats have a first down, and he's going to look downfield. How about that for a dime? Oh, boy, complete. That is going to go to number one. That's Brandon Bryant. We're going to be calling his name a lot tonight. Yeah, look forward to that combination. Th these two are battery mates. Brandon Bryant, you know, you can see how he just snatches the ball right out of the air. This, this guy's got uh, Division One at least skill, d at least Division Two skill at the wide receiver position. But they'll use him in a lot of different ways. They'll do uh, reverses with him. They'll put him in the wildcat position at quarterback. Um, he can actually even throw the ball from that position. Bays puts his man in motion. We're right back to the air. Here we go. Nope, it's going to be their little run option. He's going to take it to the outside and across the 30-yard line before a nice tackle is made by number two. That's Nathan Happy. They are moving the ball here, and I tell you, that spread form is tough to defend. What I'm paying attention to here is that pre-snap. I see a lot of, not necessarily pre-snap motion, but he's trying to figure out if they're in man or if they're in zone. Yeah, both these quarterbacks are very experienced. You know, it's going to be an interesting battle tonight to see these two quarterbacks who were teammates last year. I mean, you know, it's an interesting storyline, isn't it? Bays has got to know this defense through and through. Of course, he was a Seahawk last year, came across the bridge to represent these Bobcats. What a story. All right, with one in the backfield, he's going to send him in motion. Once again, we are with the spread form. Almost a pick. Ho, ho, ho. There's that guy. There's our Shrine Bowl <laughs> stud. Shake Thompson getting ready to say his name a whole bunch. Six foot four, 235 pounds. That's a D1 body. No question about it. Um, you know, he, he's, he's uh, not only got the D1 body, but he's got the, D, the D1 instinct. Um, you know, it's one thing to have the physical prowess, but, you know, there are, there are players, there are good athletes, and there are football players. He's both. Owen Bay is looking to his offensive coordinator. Once again, he will start with... Number six behind him, that's Aiton Golfin. Golfin to his right-hand side on the near side. It will once again be the run play option. This time it is the quarterback sliding after a short gain. That's going to be stopped around the 25-yard line, bringing up, I believe, a third down and a little ways to go here. I think this is one that might see some air. Yes, no question. I, you know, I, I like the mix of plays, though, that I'm seeing early here from Bluffton. You know, Hayden Gregory clearly has a design on, on this first offensive scheme to sort of throw Hilton Head Ooh, off a blitz. little bit, get them out of rhythm. Bybee, I like that, fakes the uh, pre-bluff snap. Hilton Head shows a little bit of a blitz there. Bybee now sets up his blocking. Here we go, seven yards. Bays, excuse me. There's a dime. Oh. Now, you think a little bit of the, uh, a little bit of the, the deer getting their legs caught up there in central contact? 
Yeah, you know, um, that that could have easily been called. I, I we've talked about. I think we had 26 penalties in uh, the Hilton Head Christian uh, contest this past week against uh, Battery or Buford Academy. You know, I, I like officials allowing these guys to play and getting to the flow of the game here early. This is fourth down and seven. They are going for it. Here we go. Are they just trying to draw a penalty or are they trying to actually go for it? A little bit outside of field goal range. Yeah, it looks like about a fourth and five here. And Bays is waiting to get the play. They might allow this to run down and I'm call a timeout. The same, yeah. All right, well, our timeout is uh, coming to you. Hang out with us. We'll be right back after this on WHHI Sports TV. If you want to protect your loved ones from additional stress and expense, plan ahead with Simplicity Cremation and Burial Services. Planning ahead tells your loved ones exactly what you want for your final wishes and protects them from rising costs. Make your final arrangements today with Simplicity Cremation and Burial Services. Visit LowCountryFuneral.com. That's LowCountryFuneral.com. We connect people to their work, to their families, to all things essential. That's why your Touchstone Energy Cooperative is here every day, making life easier in all the ways that matter. And of all the connections we make, we know none are more powerful than the human connection. Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your source for power and information. Taking a little break here on the sidelines. Thanks so much to Copper Frog Car Wash for supporting the broadcast of youth athletics. We love taking a break here. As I was walking the field, I happened to notice these sports medicine shirts, and I thought, what a great time to learn a little bit about what that is all about. So I've caught up here with Zach and Regan. Zach, let's start with you. Introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you do in um, these classes here. So I'm Zach. This is Regan. We are the senior athletic training interns here at Bluffin High School. Um, so Bluffton High School offers three sports medicine classes um, and basically you're just learning to prevent, diagnose and treat injuries um, here at the Bluffton High School. Um, and it's a lot of hands-on material um, and after you can do the three sports meds, you do an internship, which is what we are doing right now. So you've got three classes under your belt and of course then you're, you're completing with the internship. Regan, tell us a little bit about what this internship looks like because you can really intern anywhere, but you all have chosen to intern right here at the school under you know a, a wealth of knowledge. So what do you all do for your internship? Yeah, um, well the reason why I chose to do my internship here at the high school was mainly because I wanted to be a part of like the school spirit, be here for all the football games and stuff like that. And being like right next to the athletic trainer, you get to like visibly see the injuries, you get to help diagnose them. And it's just like a really neat experience that I get to witness right there on the sidelines with him. So you're here at all the games and practices and not just football, volleyball, you name it. It's so fun to catch up with you. Thanks for taking a minute with us. Yeah, thank you for having us. All right, we'll get you back to football. Fourth down and seven. These Bobcats are looking to throw it through the air. Bays from the shotgun has the five wide spread. He's gonna take that shotgun snap. He's gonna look over the middle. Bays looking downfield onto his third, fourth looks. Now he's gonna go for a run and oh, what a sack. Wow. Number. Did he look at the ball out or is that a sack? Oh, we yeah. got a flag on the play. Thank you for the help with that, JP. Number 44, Connor, Connor Wendell is about to have a pretty nice sack, potentially taken off the board. Let's take a look at what they got. Yeah, I think that's going to be a turnover on downs. I think the penalty's a hold against uh, Bluffton. So you think they'll decline it and just take the ball? I do, yeah. So a uh, bend but don't break uh, series there for the Hilton Head Seahawk defense there. Uh, that tech timeout, our first timeout of the game, was taken by Bluffton, and that is sponsored by Kia of Hilton Head. If you want to pay more for a car, that's your business. If you want to pay less, that's Kia Country's business. Taking the field now in those pretty white uniforms is that quarterback I was excited to call, Jackson Bybee now on the field number 14. He's going to start in the single back. Once again, you'll see a lot of pass formations here. Unusual for the high school level, but these are some great coaches. Bybee from the shotgun will hand off right up the middle. And that'll be a gain of about four yards. That is number 33 for Hilton Head on the carry. That is the man we're gonna look out for, Troy Timko. 
Yeah, this de- this offense really goes as Troy Temko goes. I mean, they do like to go to the air. They've got some great receivers out there, and uh, number 12, Javarian Hamilton, and uh, number 7, Jake Huggins, as well as a few others that can catch the ball and uh, make yards after the play. But they're going to stick with Temko as long as that uh, run game is working. Five beyond your center, hands to that man, Temko, who's quickly caught from behind. Number 15, what a tackle from Wyatt Tant. He is a senior, he is six foot tall, 175 pounds, and all of that energy went into that tackle. Nice play. Yeah, Buford has a lot of senior leadership on this defense. They brought a lot of guys back from last season. You know, that I said it in the pregame, Kevin, you know, my, my one question here is, they have been a little susceptible giving up the big plays. They, they, they had a problem with that last week at Buford, but let's face it, everybody has a problem giving up big plays to Buford. That's the truth of it, especially with that talent level. All right, third down three, third down about the height of a basketball hoop to go. Two in the backfield, it's gonna be the I form, and they are gonna get stuffed. Oh, the Cats right here in the den are formidable, and there's no way that they were going anywhere. It'll be fourth down. Now, they're on their own side of the field here. Would you go for it, or you let the big boot fly? I'm thinking you punt if you're B.J. Payne. What do you think? Well, I, I, I think that's the third down, actually, isn't it? We're playing catch up here in the scoreboard. Let's see what we get. No, you're correct, Kevin. It is fourth. All right, fourth and six feet. We'll see what B.J. decides to do here. I'm not sure what the metrics would say, but I'm looking like they're going to be, yep, I form. Are they going to run up the gut? We'll see what we get. Well, this is rolling the dice early for B.J. Payne. Seven in the box. It's going to be right up the gut. Oh, they need six feet. He might have it. We'll see where they mark it. That's going to be close. I think his forward progress is going to get them the first down. So it's a good push by the, by the offensive line. But I'll tell you, Buford or Bluffton's come out playing uh, scrappy. Oh, yeah. They're getting a lot of penetration uh, on that defensive line and getting into the backfield and making it pretty difficult to create any space there for Temco early on. In spite of some pretty good two-gap and seven in the box, we have a Kevin Severe first down. Kevin Severe, State Farm, he is the best. If you haven't found him, you should. Kevin, thank you for sponsoring WHHI football. So, yeah, just keep the press pressing that one. Downhill rushing. Once again, from the eye form, under center. Jackson Bybee, number 14. Will look this time. He's going to take a look at his second progression and throw it. Oh, well, we'll see how they call that. Incomplete. It's a nice yes. attempt. So, as we discussed, you know, I'm just really interested to see the the – the back and forth between these two quarterbacks here tonight. Both uh, very similar bodies, both have good pocket presence, and both have good legs when they need them. But these guys are true um, pocket passers, good accuracy, both uh, are good leaders. So I know they're friends, but uh, they want to beat each other, let's face it. Bybee with a single back. He will pitch it to the outside on the far side. That is number 33, getting past the line of scrimmage, about a two, three yard gain. For Hilton Head, that is number 33, Troy Timko, the man, the myth. Yeah, Timko is, uh, he's a good back for a lot of reasons. He's got good speed, but he's a great downhill runner. The thing I love about Timko, and you saw it right there, he's patient. He, he waited for his blockers to clear him a little space before he turned up field. And once he turns up field, he gets behind those pads beautifully. But, you know, the guy's got some speed if he gets to the corner. We want to thank our pregame sponsor, Appliances by Design of Hilton Head. Unique, extraordinary, great value. Appliances by Design. All right. Bybee coming now from the shotgun with two, well, one in the backfield, one spread out. He's going to look downfield and have a lot of pressure. Down he wow. goes for the Cats. That is number 52 with the sack. Devin Grant. We know him from the basketball court. Senior, six foot three, two thirty. Oh, that's a D1 body. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, Devin Grant is one of the captains, one of the senior leaders of this team. We talked to him at media day. Uh, he's another one of those dogs we talked about. You know, uh, Hilton Head has a bunch on their defensive side, but uh, Bluffton coming out uh, very impressive here in this first defensive series, letting Hilton Head know, you know, we're going to be here all on, all night. Fourth down with the penalty, 19 yards to go. We're going to get some action. From the kicker, that's his, is that number eight, Bo? Oh, with a block! 52 with a block, we got recovery from the Cats. Wow. That's the biggest play of the game. Oh boy, how about that for a swing? Jeremiah Curry with the recovery. Well, that was a play and a half. It's not just one, it's not just two, it's all three phases, folks. That was huge. We are gonna have the Cats on their own side of the field. You got a mark on that one. I'm seeing about, oh, they're on the Hilton Head 38-yard line. Yeah. 
We want to thank our Media Day sponsor, FWDG, the furniture and services you deserve. FWDG, get down there. Buy some furniture. Wow, a great first defensive series for both teams. You know, we talked about the offenses. We mentioned that this could be a very high-scoring affair, but the defenses are, are saying early on, not so fast. Bays sends Golfin in motion. Bays will survey the field. He's going to look down to that third tier of the defense, and it's going to be almost an interception. Oh, you're going to dream about that one. L.J. Morgan, a 5'9 junior, 155. Well, well, that's just a great break on the ball there by oh. L.J. Morgan because uh, – you know, Owen Bays, with those great receivers on the outside, doesn't need a whole lot of space. I mean, he's very accurate, can fit that in. I mean, LJ sitting there probably kicking himself because that hit him right in the hands. Yeah, you dream about that one. All right, once again, we have Owen Bays. Plenty of time, nice blocking. Yep, he's just going to keep it, take it down to about the line scrimmage into the 38-yard line. That's going to bring up a third down. The defense is, Daniel. That's what it seems to be is making the difference so far. Do you agree, partner? Always. Uh, both coaches, well, all the coaches will tell us, you know, these games typically at this level are one in the trenches. It's offenses and defensive lines, and it's special teams. It's really always going to come down to that. And so far, it's been a very clean, mistake-free game. We haven't seen a flag yet. So uh, I'm liking the rhythm of this game. But these offenses now are trying to figure out what the defenses are doing. It's a chess match usually in the first quarter. All right, once again, the man in motion. And there is going to be a pocket. He's going to run right through it. Oh, wow. That is going to be a first down. Kevin Severe first down for Owen Bays. How about that for pocket awareness? He went right through the A-gaps before this flag came down. It was holding against these Bobcats. So maybe that's why you could drive a truck through that hole. Yeah, you know, that's we, we talked about this uh, last week. You know, one of the... One of the many things that drive coaches crazy is to have a Dirty positive uh, offensive play negated by a penalty. So not only do you lose that yardage, then you have to go back another 10 for the penalty step off. So it's just it's just a momentum killer for an offense. But it's, it's tough, Daniel, because I look out on the field here, and I'm seeing Hilton Head running a, a three-down lineman set, which means they're going two-gap on the inside. So how do you call out? Who you got? I'm thinking the quarterback's got to be letting you know before the snap. We got Owen Bays with a little extra way to go here. He's going to be in the shotgun with one in the backfield. That is number six, Golfin. Bays looking downfield. He's got some time. He's going to get his receiver. That is indeed number one with the reception. Brandon Bryant, the basketball star. Yeah, and the idea is, you know, coming in here, you know, Hilt, uh, Bluffton has this air raid attack. So, you know, B.J. Payne, you know, is countering that with a, a three lineman uh, front and uh, really sinking back there in that secondary not to try to not give up the big play over the top to these very skilled and speedy wide receivers of Bluffton. He seems to be okay with Owen Bays trying to throw the ball over the middle. Here we go. It's going to be fourth down, seven yards to go Bays from the shotgun. He's going to fake the handoff. He's going to look. He's going to fire. That is going to be complete. Oh, how do you like that one? That is complete to number three. Was that three? Yes. Carnell Warren. My guy, thanks. Yeah, he's got two great weapons to go to in uh, Warren and Brian out there on the edges. And I really like what I'm seeing here for, from Owen Bays early on. He's, he's got great vision. You can see he keeps his head up, he keeps his eyes downfield. And he's also hurting uh, Hilton Head quite a bit with his legs. Four to the near side right, it is the screen pass. We are going to see number one with the reception. He's going to go across the 20, inside the 10, inside the 5. That's going to wow. be a touchdown! Oh, Brandon Ryan took that one to the house. Boy, what a statement here by the Bobcats early on. You know, they had that unfortunate penalty to lose that first down yardage, but they come back in two plays to get the first score of the game. That touchdown brought to you by TCL. Step it up with TCL, the technical college of the low country. Screen passing, how you like them apples? I love it, and it's just great execution. You know, Hilton had it actually played that well, but uh, beautiful just execution and blocking downfield. Uh, you know, Brandon Bryan doesn't need much space. They gave him just enough, and he does the rest. On to attempt this kick will be number 24, Ethan Cartmel. With a pretty good rush, Cartmel looks like he split the uprights. He does. <laughs> Folks, we have our first score. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this break on WHHI Sports TV.
The University of South Carolina Beaufort has three beautiful locations near the beach, Bluffton, Beaufort, and Hilton Head Island. Our students find our small classes and personalized instruction very rewarding. The USCB Sand Sharks have added men's and women's basketball, and we are excited to be new provisional members of NCAA Division II and the Peach Belt Conference. Fins up from USCB. Did you know at FWDG we have furniture, dressless chairs, great quality mattresses, bedroom furniture, outdoor furniture, dining sets, and rugs. The Low Country's best furniture and mattress store, FWDG. Ethan Cartman will be kicking off from left to right. Your Bobcats in black kicking off to the Hilton Head Seahawks in the blue and white, so fresh and so clean. Taking it from the five yard line is number five across the 20, 25, across the 30. He is untouched, coming across the 35 yard line. He has blockers, he has room, just the kicker to beat. Across the 50, finally driven out of bounds near about the 35 yard line. Big play for Carson Haynes, a junior. What do we say, special teams. Bluffton gets a block punch, which, which they convert to a touchdown. Hilton had answers with a great return there by, by uh, who was that, Haynes? That was Haynes. I mean, he's a, Haynes, yeah. Yeah, he's a junior, and that was a, a little bit of speed, mostly a little bit, you know, a little bit hezzy. I liked how he got behind his blockers, and most importantly, special teams blocking knew just where to be. Well, and special teams blocking with no, with no clips or no blocks in the back, that's what you always expect to see on uh, long returns like that. So great discipline there by the Hilton Head Special Teams Unit. A reminder, our MVP award is brought to you by Island Tire, the longest serving retailer and auto repair on Hilton Head. Island Tire, an island tradition. All right, under center, he will hand off to number 33, who was quickly met by the Bobcats number seven, Josh Bond. Well, Bluffton's saying early on, look, we, we're, uh, I, I think, you know, Hilton Head's defense, you know, they had a plan to key in on the wide receivers and slow down the passing attack of Bluffton. Well, Hayden Gregory on the Bluffton side defensively is keying in on number 33, Troy Temko. So what the offenses are looking to do in these first few possessions of any game is to try to determine what the defensive scheme of, of, of the other side is and then adjust. And oh, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's clear that that's what's happening. So I, I think right now what Hilton Head needs to do is start mixing it up a little bit and letting Bybee um, start to do some work with his arm. Bobby from the shotgun with the man in motion from the far side to the near side. Bobby with time, steps up into the pocket. He is going to be met by a, a flock of bobcats. What do you call a bunch of bobcats? Um, that's, that's a good one. Yeah, I got hurt. You stumped Jeremy. me on that. Ah, cats together, a colony? A colony of cats? Yeah. <laughs> it's tough to herd cats. I'll but, go with uh, that. Yeah, this, this one's coming together. Uh, yeah, they're definitely showing some, some ability throwing. I think probably five, six, sometimes seven in the box. They are taking away that run game for Timco. Yeah, two totally different defensive schemes by these coaches. And so far, Bluffton's winning that battle. Bybee now going to come from the shotgun. He's going to have one to the near side left, two receivers to the far side right. Bybee looking downfield. He's going to do another screen pass. That is number 33, Troy Timco. Right behind a block. He's going to get some nice blocking. Timco, well done up. First down's around the 28-yard line. I'd say he's probably near about the 29. Should bring up fourth down one. We'll come back and get you a piece of field position after we wrap this first quarter of play. It's a fast one, but come right back. It's going to be fun. It is the Bridge Bowl on WHHI Sports TV. It's the pre-grand opening celebration of the all-new Kia Country of Hilton Head. Truckloads of new Kias are arriving daily with exclusive Kia Country celebration savings. Choose from new 2024 Telluride, Sportage, Sorento, even the all-electric EV6. America's fastest-growing brand is here in Hilton Head in the newest, most advanced dealership in America. Don't miss the pre-grand opening savings now. The all-new Kia Country of Hilton Head, next to Tractor Supply in Bluffton. Living on the coast offers a unique lifestyle, but with that comes the need for a specialized approach to helping protect residents and business owners from year-round winds, high tides, and torrential rain. Since 1850, our family-owned business has been helping friends and neighbors navigate whatever Mother Nature has thrown our way. At CT Lowndes, we know coastal insurance. Visit us at ctlowndes.com. Let us help you prepare for hurricane season. This is the mower that cut the lawn that became the place their kids grew up. The legendary Xmark Laser Z is the zero-turn mower more landscape pros trust. 
for cut quality, comfort, and reliability. Xmark, official mowers of the backyard life. Visit your local dealer or explore the Xmark Laser Z online for special finance offers available now. I'm here with our Community Leader Award recipient this week, my very dear friend, Miss Dawn Rosa Miller. Dawn, congratulations. Thank you. Dawn so and I, it's hard to believe. I can't believe I'm saying this. We've been friends for over 20 years now. Yeah, uh, you are correct. That's I insane. remember you coming out of Clemson and yeah. taking over the School of Dance, mm -hmm. turning it into what it is today. Dawn, you've been an amazing partner, not only to Main Street Community Theater, but to Compassion Christian Church and so many others. Tell our viewers um, real quickly, well, first of all, how long yeah. have you been at the helm at BSOD? Well, I took over Bluffton School of Dance in 2003. Uh, we were fortunate enough to be able to build our own building in 2016, where we house five studios and almost 400 dancers. Yeah, what a building it is. Yeah. We've spent a lot of time in there personally. Yeah. Um, what is the general mission um, that drives uh, the, 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 the dance company, and how does that position you to serve your community in a better way? We believe in giving our community the courage and confidence to do whatever their heart desires. So right now we serve mostly children, um, but we're sending children out into our community as leaders. Um, they assist our dance classes when they get old enough. They are leaders in their high schools. They go forward and they're leaders in their colleges. And most of them don't dance past high school. Some not even past elementary school, but the lessons they're learning, the lessons that we think are important, like individuality and accountability and courage, confidence, those are the ones they take with them, and we're proud to be a part of that. Very well said. Oh, thanks. I'm a, we're first-hand testimonies because our daughter Liliana has been one of your students for absolutely. several years, yes. and she's benefited greatly. Yeah, for sure. Give me a hug. Oh, absolutely. Congratulations <laughs> to Dawn so Rosa Miller and Bluffton School of Dance for we being our it. very deserving this week's Community Leader Award recipient. Go Bobcats. Go Bobcats. We are back with your second quarter. Fourth down, one yard to go. Hilton Head will hand off on the inside, and that's going to be a first down, and that is once again Troy Timko leading the way. Kevin Severe, State Farm, for all your auto insurance needs. Kevin Severe's the man. Troy Timko, in spite of the, the whole game plan against him, looks pretty good. Hey, he's great. He's just a consistent performer. He is the, the, probably the offensive leader on this team. Um, I, you know, I love what I saw there on that great play to get them in position on fourth and one. You know, I, and I said it previously, he's just got great vision and great field awareness to go along with those great legs. Jackson Bybee under center with three in the backfield. will hand off to his fullback number 44. Coming across the gap block. That's a nice run. 44 to the outside going down to the 18-yard line. How about that with a fullback getting the football? That's something you don't see every day. A nice run. Yeah, he looks like old John Riggins out there. Remember John Riggins? I remember Mike Alstott. Who's John Riggins? Alstott. John Riggins was the Hall of Famer with the Washington Redskins. Oh, that's going back to the Joe Gibbs days? Yeah, I'm oh aging myself, partner. Cardinal Connor Wendell, not aging himself. Junior 5'11", 187. That's a nice way to run. That's the old school. We like it. Yeah, both offenses are starting to settle into their game plans. You know, they needed to see what the other defenses were doing, and now they're starting to settle in. From the wishbone, these cats are swarming. That is number two, Nathan Appy, leading the way on the block. We love knowledge here on WHHI Sports. Tell us, Daniel, what is a, uh, a group of cats actually called? Well, our information aficionado, producer Jeremy Pope, um, pulled this little uh, tidbit of info. A, 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 a clouder is an adult group of bobcats, and a Kindle is a youth group of Bobcats. What the do you think these guys are? I'd, I'd say they're more Kindles, but they're playing like clouders right now. These are some grown men. Uh, they're <laughs> bigger than me. I will say whatever it takes to uh, not face them in a dark place. I'm very excited to have them in the light, well-lit football field. I, I'm playing around. These are real thing athletes who are fun to be around. They always give us great interviews. Jackson Bobby from the shotgun will hand off to number 28, who was immediately met by Nathan Appy. How about that kid? Nathan Appy's a great football player. We called his name a lot uh, when we had their game earlier this year. Um, I'll tell you, uh, I'm impressed with what I'm seeing on the defensive side of the ball for, for Bluffton. They've come out here intense. They've come out here ready to play. They're sticking to their assignments. They're getting their reads, and they're giving uh, the Seahawk offense all they can handle. It's been fun. This is the Seahawks' chance to answer. They trail by seven, as it will be by the under center in the I form, two in the backfield. Bybee will hand off to number 28, who's going to go nowhere. Leading the way for the Bobcats, number seven, Jake Huggins, number four, Trey 
apropos name. Oh, I'm sorry, that's on the wrong roster. Number seven, Josh Bond. Number four is Jeremiah Curry. Jeremiah Curry is a name that uh, I think we're all going to get very comfortable with in the years going forward. He's a senior, 6'1", 195 pounds. He also looks like an athlete we'll be seeing at the collegiate level. Yeah, you know, you look at both these if these teams look very similar uh, visually, don't they, Kevin? I mean, they're both they, they've got good size up front. They got great skill possession players, good quarterbacks. It's an evenly matched contest. Bobby from split backs will drop back. He's going to look through one, two, three progressions. He will step into the pocket and he will be met by a combination of Bobcats. That is number seven, Josh Bond, once again with. I don't ever want to meet this kid, I tell you. 52, Devon Grant looks like a man. Six foot three, 230, getting it done. It's going to be, they're down seven. I think this is actually fourth down. You are correct, sir. Fourth down and seven. This is field goal range, and they are going to try it. Number eight is Bo Sexton looking to put three on the board. Yeah, I like this call. You know, you want to get points on the board. Uh, you hate getting this deep into your opponent's territory and walking away empty. So I like this call by B.J. Payne. Not a lot of wind tonight. It is starting to cool down as we come into region play. The ball is down. The kick is away. It is going to be a little to the left. And when we come back, these Bobcats will have a chance. We will uh, send out to commercial. Come on, you back, y'all. We'll see you in a bit. My name is Quentin Miles, sales coordinator for Charleston. Bluffton, Hilton Head, Beaufort. Aflac has a proprietary cloud-based enrollment platform available to you at no employer cost. We help you manage your hiring and retention competitiveness, and we help your employees manage the rising costs of healthcare affordably. I've got 17 years experience to help you make the right decision with your employee benefits. Contact me today for more information. I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come see us during our 38th anniversary where we have 2023 F-150s at 1.9% financing. Call or come see me today only at OC Welch in Hardyville, South Carolina. Thank you very much. And we're back first and 10 cats. Bayes sends a man in motion. He is gonna run it right up the gut. Bayes has about five yards. DC, you played some ball in your day. Forgive my naivete, I know you as a golfer. Tell me about your time on the gridiron. What was your position? I played quarterback. No kidding. Yep. What's the hardest part of playing quarterback? All of it. <laughs> I think it's the hardest position in sports. Now, golf is a really hard game, but quarterback is just, you know, that that's just something uniquely different. You know, not only do you have to know all the plays, you have to understand what your teammates' assignments uh, are, and you, when you got, you know, big guys coming at you full speed, you got to keep your head up field, your eyes up field, and you got to make the throw, or the run in this case. Bayes hands to golf, and he's still moving, folks. Holy cow, they haven't blown the whistle yet. There it is. All right. Well, with forward progress, that's going to be a Kevin Severe State Farm first down. Where are you from originally? I know you're from the upstate. Upstate, Greenville, Traveler's Rest area. I went to oh, Traveler's yeah. Rest High School. Yep. That is a football town, too. Yeah, we weren't so good back in my day. But, yeah, uh, Greenville is Clemson, Gamecock territory, you know, mostly Clemson. But, um, yeah, you know, th that, that whole area, the upstate produces great teams. You know, you think of Burns, you think of Gaffney, you think of Dorman High School, you think of uh, – um, Gosh, Greenville High School is one of the best teams in the state now. Bayes from the shotgun is going to take once again quarterback draw. He's going to go nowhere. You even think of Powdersville, who played uh, Buford in the state championship last last year. But no, you're talking about quarterback. You know, it is a it's a special position. The guys that play it the best are the ones that have pocket presence, field awareness, and great vision. From the shotgun, he's once again going to be pressured, and that is... Number 11. Yeah, get used to him. Shake Thompson, who will be in the Shrine Bowl representing the Low Country. You know, we talked about him early on. You know, he reminds me a lot, just, just in his appearance. Uh, you know, different jersey number, but a lot of the, the Hilton Head star Hall of Famer Jalen Sneed, who's now at Notre Dame and, oh, yeah. and getting a lot of playing time. Well, he's a special player. He was their top recruit the year he came out. Once again, from the spread... Here comes Bays. He's going to look downfield. He's got plenty of time. Bays stumbles. Bays goes down with a sack. That is a combo of Hilton Head Seahawks in there. 
Yeah, it looked like uh, number six, Caleb Spangler, who's also a tight end on offense. You know, Hilton Head has uh, a really tenacious and disciplined defense. That's a great answer, a great series for them to get a three and out to, in, in response to that uh, unsuccessful field goal attempt there deep into Bluffton's territory. Ethan Cartmel's going to have plenty of field in front of him. Special teams, what a big special teams play this is. Special teams and defense, we're seeing a lot of that here early in this game. Bobcats protecting a touchdown lead with the boot. Cartmel got a good one off. Wow. Down near the 35. Nice coverage. Oh, he's going nowhere. How about that for a, whatever you want to call a group of Bobcats? All right, let us go ahead and thank our tailgate sponsor, Chicken Salad Chick of Bluffton. Delicious scratch-made, craveable favorites served from the heart. I really enjoy what we got this week. I got a, uh, a lemon, pecan, basil scoop over a salad. DC, what do you go with in the food this week? Jalapeno holly, baby. I Ooh. like it spicy. Me too, my friend. Me too. And uh, here we've got a 7 to nothing game with about five and a half minutes left to go before the first half. We'd like to thank our scoreboard sponsor, Simplicity, Simplicity Cremation and Burial Services, the support you need when you need it the most. Nobody reads it like my guy, DC. From the shotgun snap, looking downfield, once again stepping into the pocket and going a good bit of nowhere. This time it's 14 Jackson Bybee. Well, we're seeing some A-gap play. Yep. We're seeing some runs from the quarterback. I think some design runs. Yeah. What you said earlier will be the difference in the game. It's a game of adjustments. Yep. The yeah. Cats, are, they're stacking the box up. Hilton has got to figure something out in terms of spreading it out in the offense. Yeah, they are really, um, you know, Bluffton's really getting a lot of pressure on Bobby. Bobby hasn't had much time from a throwing perspective to do much at all. At all. Now with the handoff on the draw, it's about three yards for Troy Timko. That's going to bring up a third down and, oh, I'd say about four yards to go. Yeah, Bluffton's playing such a good game on defense. They've really rendered Hilton Head kind of one-dimensional with Timco so far. You know, looking at this contest with, with just about four minutes to go here at the half, I would say the defensive lines of both teams are winning this football game. The offensive line's got to really settle down and assert themselves because offense and yards, it's very very much a surprise, Kevin, that, oh, agreed. Uh, that yardage and scoring has been this tough to come by. Uh, definitely a defensive game so far in spite of the score, and I tell you, it, it's uh, very different schematically. Oh, how about that for a screen pass? He's broken it! Oh, he's across the 40, 30, 20, 10, 5! Oh, he's down wow. at the 4! Boy, I'll tell Ooh. you. What a play call and what great execution. That's the guy we talked Javarian about. Javarian Hamilton can burn. Can burn. And I tell you, I thought he was gone. But what a, a display of speed downfield by Jeremiah Curry to run him down. You told me, look out for 12. That's the kid that can fly. And the wings were out on that one. Uh, two blocks and he was out. Well, he had such a great play, an explosive couple plays against Buford uh, earlier this season. I really thought uh, Hilton Head should have won that game. But uh, Javar, yeah, he was our play of the week on the Javarian, one we had on there. Yeah, Javari and Hamilton oh. broke off a big one and showing that, you know, what that breakaway speed, how damaging that can be. From the two-yard line in the wishbone, it's going to be the fullback, 44, coming across. And in spite wow. of a big hit, that is a touchdown. Number 44 is Connor Wendell. He is a junior, 5'11", 187. Our touchdown sponsor is TCL, set up with TCL, the Technical College of the Low Country. Boy, BJ wonderful, indicates. wonderful play calling by the coaching staff of Hilton Head there yeah. oh, on yeah. those last three plays. I mean, you know, they needed a spark, and they got it from Javari and Hamilton. Yeah, again, we talked about this. You know, for quarterbacks to get in rhythm, and Bybee has not been able to get into any rhythm at all in this game, and that's credit to Bluffton's defensive front. But that's when you want to go to these short passes and let your playmakers create outside. Sexton with the boot, and tick, tick, boom, we are tied. How about that for a spark? Kevin, Libby, Daniel Court, our full WHHI sports team with you. We said it could be a barn burner. Hang in there. We'll be back. Appliances by Design was founded on Hilton Head and is serving the low country. We're local owners, industry professionals, and we're here to help. We have all the brands that you love. And we have the brands you can't get anywhere else in this area. If you're ready for a new refrigerator, dishwasher, stove, even washers and dryers, get the quality you need at the best prices. 
Plus we do delivery, installation, warranty work, so you get service like you've never had before. Appliances by design. 20 Hatton Place, Hilton Head Island, next to Barnes & Noble. Hi, I'm Anna, Chicken Salad Chick, and we are ready for the 2023 football season. Stop by today and grab a quick chick, some cookies, a gallon of iced tea, or a fresh made lemonade to enjoy at your tailgate party. Welcome back everybody, number eight. Bo Sexton kicking off for these Hilton Head Seahawks from left to right, from the near side hash. The Seahawks in their white and blue. It's going to be a short kick. It's going to be a fair catch called for about the 31 yard line. That is number 16 for the Bobcats, Marvin Clark, a sophomore. I tell you, the tie game, it's getting exciting, baby. Yeah, and while we wait for uh, play to get back going, uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Main Stage Community Theater. Oh, those I have guys? the privilege of serving on their board. Their um, mission and vision statement is to engage the artist in anyone and inspire the arts in everyone. Make the world your stage. Well, I love talking about, you know, just, you know, pe pe people have asked, you know, why would, why would a theater company be a sponsor for high school football bowl series? Oh, and this thought, is ballet out here. It, it, it is. And, you know, th they're the same concept. It's young people learning how to work together for a common goal. That's 100%. What, that's, they couldn't, couldn't be more synonymous than that. We learned from, we got some whistles going. We'll figure out what's going on here. It's going to be a timeout for the Bobcats. All right. Bobcats timeout. We'll take it with them. Stay with us, we'll be back on WHHI Sports TV. Come see us at Copper Frog Car Wash, a family owned full service and express service car wash. Our hand wash thorough cleaning service will have your car looking like new. Our goal is to have you back on the road in 20 minutes. We have everything from express washes to platinum services for you to choose from. Located on the north end of the island, we offer great locals discounts and monthly memberships that will keep your car always looking copper frog clean. Come see us today. Living on the coast offers a unique lifestyle, but with that comes the need for a specialized approach to helping protect residents and business owners from year-round winds, high tides, and torrential rain. Since 1850, our family-owned business has been helping friends and neighbors navigate whatever Mother Nature has thrown our way. At CT Lounge, we know coastal insurance. Visit us at ctlounge.com. Let us help you prepare for hurricane season. And we're back, the Bobcats in the shotgun. Bybee will look. He's going to look to his sideline on the screen pass. He's got it complete for five yards. That's number seven. That is three. three. Carnell Warren with a nice catch. It is homecoming night yeah. here for these Bobcats. And, uh, you know, this is a this is an impressive facility here, isn't it? You know, that, I'm looking down here at it as, as, as we gaze from a top to press box, and there's a lot of folks here for, for on the Bluffton side. It's full up. I'm at 12,000 steps already. Plenty of steps <laughs> here in Bluffton. We have the handoff on the inside, and once again, that three-man front is handling for these Seahawks. Going nowhere, number six. That's Etienne Golfin once again. Let's go ahead and mention our penalty flag sponsor, not to jinx us in the laundry department, but don't penalize your employees by offering just medical insurance or no work site benefits at all. Call Quentin Miles today to learn how to help your employees at little or no cost to you. Now, BJ Payne and the Seahawks are taking a timeout. We'll take it with them. Come on back, folks. Coming right back on WHHI Sports TV. Come to Fat Babies for game day and root for your favorite team with a platter that comes with a bucket of beer. The Gamecocks platter has 24 boneless wings, four flavors, fries, and celery. The Tiger platter is two medium pizzas, four toppings, garlic knots, and marinara. The Bulldog platter has six hot dogs, fries, chili cheese, and all the fixins. And for a football feast, the Buckeye platter, ribs, fries, mac and cheese, and slaw. Each platter is only 40 bucks and comes with a bucket of beer. So whoever you're rooting for, game day at Fat Babies is sure to be a touchdown. Did you know at FWDG we have furniture, dressless chairs, great quality mattresses, bedroom furniture, outdoor furniture, dining sets, and rugs. The Low Country's best furniture and mattress store, FWDG. Inside three minutes, they're down in three to go. It's a magic number with a man in motion. It will be the sweep. It's so number six coming across the 40, 38, 35 yard line before he's going to be taken down by a whole bunch of Seahawks. Well, they're going to move the sticks here, though, Kevin. That is going to be a Kevin Severe first down. 
Hey, I'd like to give a shout out to our community leader sponsor, USCB, more than you can imagine. And we want to thank Kawhi Piano Gallery by Heroin. They say, uh, by Heron, rather, they sponsored our coin toss for piano sales, rental service, and now lessons. Call Kawhi Piano Gallery at Heron today. First down and 10, 2.30 to play. Looking from the shotgun, he's going to bomb it. Oh, it's down there. No, oh, it's caught. Oh, wow. get ready. Sports Center, hello. Oh, Brandon Bryant looking like a stud to the outside. Kevin, we've seen a lot of good wide receivers this season. In every one of our games, it seems like every team has a couple of good receivers. This is the best receiver I've seen yet. This guy not only has speed and field awareness, wonderful hands. Those are deep uh, division one hands. He snatches the ball out of the air. That's what you gotta do to get to the next level. This guy is impressive and what a dime there by Owen Bays. Owen Bays stepping into the pocket, stepping into his throw, and dropping it where only his guy could catch it, and his guy did. That was a dime outside the numbers. On for the extra. That one's good. With 2.24 to play till halftime, 14-7 Bobcats. Come on back, y'all. Life is grand with a piano. Kauai Piano Gallery by Heron and Heron Piano Consignment serves Bluffton, Savannah, Charleston, Beaufort, and Hilton Head for piano sales, rentals, and service. Kauai Piano Gallery in Bluffton offers the full line of Kauai products, from hybrids and digitals to concert grand pianos. Quality pre-owned inventory includes Kauai, Steinway, Yamaha, Baldwin, and more. Also now offering lessons. Head to Kauai Piano Gallery by Heron.com. I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come see us during our 38th anniversary where we have 2023 F-150s at 1.9% financing. Call or come see me today only at OC Welch in Hardyville, South Carolina. Thank you very much. Taking a little break from football, we're actually going to talk about girls golf. Catching up with the team here on the sidelines, Brooke Larson, coach, a graduate of Bluffton High. Tell us a little bit about yourself and the team. So this is my third year with the team. I started as an assistant coach with four girls, and this is my second year as head coach. And now we have six. Um, I also teach at Bluffton High School, and it's been really cool watching these girls um, as students and on the golf team. Yeah, and Brooke, of course, a player in college. I want to talk to Dad for just a minute, too, because uh, Tom is a parent here at Bluffton High. You've got a daughter on the golf team. Tell us what you've seen in just the last few years. Yeah, so in two years, um, to see the team grow from just one or two, three players, and then now we're, we got a full team. We couldn't even roster a team, so now they can, which is really great. The life skills that these girls are learning are amazing, and the and the memories that they're creating that will last a lifetime. It's great to watch. Absolutely, and I want to give a quick brag to the fact that y'all just came in first yes. at a recent tournament. So so much fun. Thanks for taking a minute with us, Absolutely. and we'll get back to football. Two minutes, 24 seconds to play in the half. Bluffton's Ethan Cartmill will be kicking off from right to left. It's a healthy boot. Seahawks number four around the five yard line will return. Coming out across the 15 yard line. Moving across your screen from left to right. Number five across the 22 yard line. That was a pretty good return. I'll tell you, Kevin, Ethan Cartmill's got a live leg, doesn't he? That is a healthy boot. We've seen it from both the punt and the kickoff. Yeah, Bluffton looking very balanced, playing a great defensive game. I mean, to hold this uh, high-powered Seahawk offense to only seven points with two minutes left to go in the half, that's impressive in and of itself. And now their offense is starting to get into that flow and showing why they're the highly advertised air raid that they are. Our sideline report brought to you by Copper Frog. Copper Frog, your full-service car wash on Hilton Head Island. Copper Frog. Bybee from the shotgun will look downfield. He's got some pressure coming, and that is over. Oh, I don't know if he's looking for a horse collar. He's not going to get it. They're going to call that one a sack. Bybee just hasn't had any time. You know, he's. Uh, I, I really am impressed with the game plan and the execution of Hayden Gregory and staff. You know, they are loading that front. Um, they're just not. They're getting great penetration, finding their gaps, and not giving Bybee any time to look downfield and find those receivers. Inside 145 to play. That was number 72, Mansion Whiting with the tackle. Here we go from the shotgun. It's going to be a handoff inside. They are looking to run the clock down. 
It'll bring up a third down and plenty of it. Minute 33, do we have a timeout? It appears that we do. Folks, we're gonna take it with them. We'll be right back on WHHI Sports TV. Hi, I'm Cindy Seaman, Chairman of the Board of Main Stage Community Theater. And with me is Daniel Court, our Vice Chair. Our mission is very simple. Engage the artist in anyone and inspire the arts in everyone. And perhaps our vision statement says it best. We are a gathering place for our community to connect and celebrate over great storytelling. From the back of the stage to the front of the house, we all are making an impact. But wait. Our next great production is in the works. Mark your calendars for Main Stage Community Theater's upcoming production, Into the Woods Junior. Shows run November 16th through 19th and is proudly presented by Court Atkins Group. Visit MainStageCommunityTheater.org for complete details and don't miss Into the Woods Junior. Third down and 12, Bobcats just used their last time out. Hilton Head looking to run the clock here. They're gonna send a man in motion from right to left across your screen. It is gonna be a look downfield. Oh boy! Oh, wow. Oh, ho, ho. That's the first time tonight, Kevin, we've seen the offensive line create a pocket for Bybee. He stepped up, he had his man, he had Huggins uh, deep. Huggins had a step on the defender there, but uh, just a little bit overthrown. That's because Bybee's been under such pressure tonight, he hasn't had a chance to get in any uh, passing rhythm. I didn't mind the ball, it was kind of a rainbow, but to be fair, it was only where his guy could get it. That's true. I mean, on that play, I'm not getting you're my quarterback. On a play like that, are you looking for your receiver to react to the ball? Like, yes. Is that one of those in the air plays? Yeah, you know, and that just comes from a lot of work together off season. Um, you know, these guys spend lots of time in the summer working together, and that's what you got to do. You got to be on the same page, and uh, you know, things become more instinctively when you work together that closely. Bo Sexton kick goes end over end to the 50. These Bobcats will have a chance with one minute 19 seconds to play here in, in the in the half. JP, we staying here with it. All right, baby, let's go ahead and talk about Fat Babies. Fat Babies of Hilton Head, your family-friendly neighborhood pizza joint. Now, I have loved my Fat Babies orders. I have been on a bit of a diet, so I've been getting uh, a pretty yummy chef salad from that spot. But my go-to is what you find in Boston outside the bars if you happen to be of age and you're out there late night with the college kids. Boston Sausage Guy. If there's a better way to get a sausage and peppers, I don't know it. Fat Babies in Hilton Head, go get it, folks. Good call. All right, going to be looking downfield here from the shotgun. There's the air attack that's oh. quickly going to hit the ground. Oh, that's a surprise, Brandon Bryant. But you saw his eyes turn up before he secured the ball there, trying to make a play. You know, sometimes receivers are so eager to do something with the ball that you, you can't do much with it. You got to secure that catch first. He also Point. looked like he was going to take a pretty good lick there. I'm not yeah, talking about Cat Yeah, he, he was thinking about uh, the pursuit. You know, I do want to thank our uh, national anthem sponsor, O.C. Welch Ford. O.C. Welch, go see O.C. today for a great car buying experience. Bays will look downfield. He's going to launch one. Oh, no. That was another great pass. So boy, this is getting really fun. Brandon Bryan had a step, right? He did. How close was that? Uh, real close. I think, um, I think the ball might have touched him. I think he might have gotten his hands on that. I think at the very last second, uh, the Hilton Head defender got his hands up, which is what you always want to coach with in the defensive secondary. If you Walk that line of vision? Yeah, well, if you're following the players, the receiver's eyes, you know the ball's coming based on what his eyes are doing, and then you're coached to get your hands up in his face, and I think they just blocked his vision there because a guy with hands like uh, Brandon Bryant should have come down with that pass. From the shotgun, sends his man in motion. It's going to be a quarterback draw. The quarterback will run to the 47-yard line. The clock is going to continue to run here. Inside one minute, we have a flag, piece of laundry. Well, we do want to thank Stokes, our halftime sponsor. Visit Stokes Toyota Beaufort, your friendly community dealer for a truly exceptional experience. Stokes of Beaufort. Yeah, and we'll have some halftime thoughts coming up here, won't we, Kevin? I mean, I'm, I'm here for it. We hope you are too. It's been fun. Not well, a lot of laundry. You don't want to start drinks in that one, but no, it's been, been I, fun. I, and I and I like that. You know, it, it, what, what what we're finding because there's been so few penalties. I mean, the, the, both these teams are playing disciplined and clean games, but when you when you don't have a lot of penalties, it allows the both 
both sides of the ball, defenses and offenses, to get into the rhythm. 103 to play. As we understand, the Bobcats are out of timeouts. Hilton Head has two. It is fourth down and nine yards to go according to the scoreboard, and we're going to have a little bit of conversation. We'd like to thank uh, our postcard sponsor, LC Alliance for Healthy Youth, using the community to promote positive choices. Low Country Alliance, they are awesome. All right. Well, they're going to have a little bit of a zebra convention. I'm not really sure what's going, but we'll get you some signals when we find out. Uh, DC, you talk about what it takes to be a good quarterback. I'm thinking leadership is a, a pretty big part of it. You've got to be able to demonstrate, not just on the field, but also in the classroom, and, of course, also on, on the bus, right? You've got to be able to be fun. Yeah, you're the general, typically. You're the captain. You know, it's, it's quarterback is a position where, like you said, Kevin, not only do you have to have great skill and ability to lead teams, but they've got to know when they're in that huddle that, that you're the guy. You're the guy that's going to uh, ensure. Oh, what do we got here? They're still talking about it. Okay. We're going to go ahead and react to whatever they do here. But uh, Yeah, but you're, you're the guy that has command of the offense. And, uh, you know, belief is everything. Confidence is everything in this game. And when you have two field generals like Bays and Bybee, that's going to give offenses a lot of confidence. I think these guys are going to play great second halves. Well, that's no bull. No bull mattress and more. Visit Bluffton or Hilton Head for quality mattresses at affordable prices. And so far, talking about these quarterbacks, uh, Owen Bays is getting a little bit uh, the better of, of Bybee, but that's simply because his offensive line is giving him a little bit more time. I think Bays has shown that he can keep the defensive line back on their heels a little bit because he's done a lot of that uh, quarterback read, quarterback yeah, run. The pre-snap on him has the, been awesome. It's been great. You know, they're they're in a great rhythm offensively. And, uh, you know, that keeps defenses a little bit pensive, even though Hilton Head's played a great defensive first half. I mean, holding Bluffton to 14 points is, is a win. But um, let's give credit to the Bluffton defense. You know, Jackson Bybee's a very oh, yeah. capable quarterback back there with Troy Timko in offense, and they've held him to seven points. That's That's a win. That's impressive for sure. Here we go. Owen Bays with one in the backfield. He is going to try to get somebody to jump, and they won't. We're going to check the play. He's going to make sure he has his blockers set up. And then we'll go ahead and have a delay a game. I think that was on purpose. Yeah. You know, Hayden Gregory just needed to kind of get a feel for what Hilton Head might do there defensively. He didn't like what he saw, and I think this is the prudent play to go ahead and punt it away. You know, you've got plenty of time left in this half, you know, Hilton Head will come out in their two-minute offense, and you definitely do not want to give them the ball um, on so your side of the field. I'm with you. This is just giving that ball some more time to roll down there, maybe giving a Seahawk to touch it so you can maybe get a turnover. Well, and when you've got a, a kicker with the caliber of leg that uh, Cartmel has, you can flip field position on a team quickly, and that's what they're looking to do here. Ethan Cartmel, number 24, you've heard his name a lot tonight. He will be kicking from right to left. Your Bluffton Bobcats, black on black, as the Hilton Head Seahawks on the left-hand side of the field. Blue helmets against white jerseys, so fresh and so clean. So fresh and so clean. All right. DC, one minute to play. We're thinking that they're going to try to bury him here. If you're Hilton Head, are you going to just basically run the timeout, or, or do you think you've got a chance to go ahead and score? Well, I think it all depends on what the – Cartmel is able to do with this punt. You You're know, looking he, for a return. He can, yeah, if he can pin them in inside the 20, you know, we might see uh, Hilton Head run the clock out and just uh, live to play another day in the second half. But uh, it all depends on field position here. Cartmel with good protection gets it off. A healthy boot. We got a fair catch signaled for. And that ball is going to drop near about to the 11-yard line, rolling to the 10-yard line. They're going to find it eventually. Well, what did, we, what, did, what did we say? Cartmel, um, wow, what a great job of punting. You know, right now you could even say he might be one of the first-half MVPs. He has flipped the field on Hilton Head two times with this outstanding punt. He just ended this possession for, for Hilton Head. I think they're going to bury it. Our presenting sponsor is Summit Services Heating and Air, your leader in home performance services in the low country. Thanks to Summit Services for supporting WHHI TV sports all year long. We love you, Summit. 
Well, it'll be interesting to see what B.J. Payne wants to do here. You know, it, it, you're taking a risk to go to your two-minute offense and in the air because Bluffton, you know, they're coming. Look look at that. They've got five defensive linemen up front, and they are going to stick to the ground game. It's the pitch, and Timco's going nowhere. We'll see if they call the timeout. Yeah, I think uh, that's, that's dictating um, Hilton Head's play calling here. I think B.J. Payne is content to run this clock out here in the first half. You know, you just don't want to do anything foolish. Well, uh, have a turnover a and give uh, give Bluffton a freebie. We just jinxed ourselves. We will have a timeout. We will have another offensive play in this half. Hang on, folks. We're coming right back. If you want to protect your loved ones from additional stress and expense, plan ahead with Simplicity Cremation and Burial Services. Planning ahead tells your loved ones exactly what you want for your final wishes and protects them from rising costs. Make your final arrangements today with Simplicity Cremation and Burial Services. Visit LowCountryFuneral.com. That's LowCountryFuneral.com. Not everyone starts their day at the same time or in the same way. But no matter when or how, your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative is there to help you power every moment of it in countless ways. Because whenever it starts, one thing is certain. We never stop. Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your source for power and information. 31 seconds to play. The clock is stopped. Jackson Bybee from the shotgun will send a man in motion. From left to right, he's going to have it be a handoff on the inside. Number 33, Troy Timko, who's got some room. Troy Timko is out across near a boot, the 28-yard line. We'll see if Hilton Head uses their last time out. Well, Bluffton just dropped everybody back in coverage, as you would expect. And um, Hilton Head went with the draw, get good positive yardage from Timko, but with 23 seconds left in the half, uh, you got a lot of field still to cover to score, so I'm not sure what B.J. Payne's going to draw up here. It'll be interesting to see. One play is still to come. we got a timeout. We'll take it with them. Coming right back, folks. Stay there. As a parent to another parent, TCL makes it very easy for you to succeed. TCL is definitely the smart choice. We really work with all of our students. It's the most affordable it's ever been. You have supportive staff here. We focus on practical teaching and hands-on application. You're going to be able to get to know your peers. You're going to get to know your instructors. It's a great transitional period for students coming out of high school. It is just a great school all around. This is the mower that cut the lawn that became the place their kids grew up. The legendary Xmark Laser Z is the zero turn mower more landscape pros trust. For cut quality, comfort, and reliability, Xmark, official mowers of the backyard life. Visit your local dealer or explore the Xmark Laser Z online for special finance offers available now. With 23 seconds to play, it will be Jackson Bybee for the most likely last play of our half. It's going to be with a man in motion, a handoff to Troy Timko up the middle, who's going to be quickly met, and that's going to do it, folks. What a fun first half this was. DC and I will be with you for the halftime report. We're also going to have some fun. Oh, they're trying to get two plays off. Let's have it with them. Here we go. They uh, spiked it, and we got yeah. a flag coming in. Yeah, I'm not really sure. What was that? what Hilton Head's strategy is here. I, I, you know, I, I, again, I think you got too much field to cover with eight seconds left to go. Yeah, that's intentional now grounding. And I think they have a procedure penalty. Yeah, could so they're going to lose. It's a loss of down with the intentional yeah, grounding. I'm I, pretty sure they also going to keep the clock running here. Let's see if it's the last play. I think it's wise to just take a knee and end this half and gather yourselves, come out with a different game plan. That They've got to get Jackson Bybee more time here in the second half. So I think that's going to be the order of the day for B.J. Payne and crew. JP, let me know that's the first penalty against Hilton Head. A pretty clean game for these Seahawks. It has been a clean game. I love seeing that. You know, we've, we've called games. The, I think the last three games we've called uh, have had, you know, in the neighborhood of 15 to 25 penalties, and that really changes the, the, the dynamic and the, and the flow of a game. This has been very clean. Third down and eight after the intentional grounding. Perhaps this will be our final play of the half. Jackson Bobby from the shotgun with one in the backfield will... Take the snap. He will hand off. And that will be the end of the half. 
DC, I'll see you at halftime, brother. Yep. Looking forward to it. Been a great game so far. It's got a long way to go. Hope you all stay with us. We are going to set out to the halftime show by Fat Babies. Oh, Fat Babies, do we love you, especially that sausage guy. You all enjoy the Fat Babies halftime show. DC will be back with me for some color and some analysis. And, of course, we've got a second half of football coming up. Stay there, folks. We'll be right back. We are here at Fat Baby's Pizza with Eric Overstick, who is the owner. Thank you for having us. My pleasure. Glad yeah. you guys came again. So um, I know you're one of our tailgating sponsors for high school football, but mm -hmm. we're going to talk about college football today because you've got something really fun going on we this sure year. We sure do. Tell us about it. All right. Well, we were, figured we got Clemson Tigers, South Carolina Gamecocks as local teams, but we have Georgia Bulldog fans. We have Ohio State Buckeye fans. So we really wanted to promote Saturday football this year. Uh, so we came up with four different platters for each of the teams. Um, and we kind of coincided some beers with them. And so we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do a, a Gamecocks platter, which is basically gonna be our chicken, boneless chicken wings. It's gonna come in four different flavors. You get ranch and blue cheese with it, celery and a bunch of fries, and a bucket of beer. And all the platters that I'm gonna mention are uh, gonna run $40 for the platter. Uh, and you get refills of either the beer or the food for another $20. Uh, should feed probably three to four people uh, with no problem. Um, we're also doing a, we're gonna call it the Buckeye, I guess, is gonna be the rib platter. It's gonna be ribs, french fries, mac and cheese, coleslaw, uh, again, with a bucket of beer. Uh, we're gonna do the Clemson Tigers with uh, pizza, since we do sell some good pizza. Um, it's two medium pizzas, up to four toppings, and a bucket of beer, uh, and it comes with a plate of garlic knots also. The last one, the Bulldogs. Six hot dogs, french fries, chili, cheese, toppings for the hot dogs, and a bucket of beer, again. Uh, so that's our that's our big thing for Saturdays, and we will be running also uh, our food happy hour all day long. So that is the Nacho Babies happy hour. Well, it all looks and smells amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you for sharing with us, and make sure you're getting in on Saturday for football. College football season is right here, and this is a great deal. Go Cox. Did you know that the human brain doesn't fully develop until the age of 25? Substance use harms brain development, decision making, and leads to addiction. E-cigarettes negatively affect oxygen supply, endurance, and attention. Marijuana affects your action time, concentration, and decision making. Alcohol harms endurance, judgment, and complex motor skills. All these negatively affect brain function and development. Make smart choices. Don't let your team down. You asked and we listened. Noble Mattress is growing. We've opened a second location in the village at Main Street. For those who didn't want to cross the bridge, we're now open on Hilton Head Island. Locally, family owned and operated, ranked number one by our customers in service, price, and quality. We have over 250 years in manufacturing in our showroom. Our relationship with our customers does not end with the sale. We can save you 55 to 80% off retail, and that's Noble. Did you know at FWDG we have furniture, dressless chairs, great quality mattresses, bedroom furniture, outdoor furniture, dining sets, and rugs. The Low Country's best furniture and mattress store, FWDG. With the Stokes tail to halftime, Kevin Libby, Daniel Court, DC. What a half. What are you seeing out there? Great half. You know, a little lower scoring than we thought. But one of my questions in the pregame was how is this Bluffton defense, which has been a little susceptible at times to the big play, how are they going to hold up against this high powered offense of, of the Seahawks? Question answered. Defense is playing a great game. In fact, for Bluffton, the story of that first half was really the defense and the and the leg of Ethan Cartmill. What a play in all three phases from, from Cartmill. What I'm interested to see is which team can get outside the numbers. We're seeing the Bobcats can do it. They really are throwing the ball outside. The Seahawks, 
they're spreading the ball out. We're seeing a lot of pro form, but what we're not Ladies seeing is a lot of success yet. Yeah, they're trailing by a touchdown, but when the wheels come off, it's kind of fun because that's when the stops come out too. Yeah, well, Hayden Gregory has got to uh, put together a great defensive scheme here. Uh, B.J. Payne has got to figure out a way to get Jackson Bybee a little bit more time back oh, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They've got great receivers on the edges. We, we saw a couple of big plays there for them, but uh, Troy Temko can't carry the low by himself, so this will be an interesting chess right, match as we get into the second half. It's going to be fun, y'all. Stick with with us. This for the Stokes Toyota halftime show is Kevin Libby in DC. Let's send over to Jessica Surrett with the Stokes Taylor Drive of the Week. Hey y'all, welcome in for this week's Drive of the Week. I'm with Stokes Toyota Buford. I am joined by the general manager, Michael Lynn. It's such a pleasure. How are hey, you? I'm great. How are you? Doing great. So last week we talked a little bit about, you know, why, what are different reasons why people buy? Now, what are some reasons like why Stokes Toyota Buford? Yeah, so this is really important to me. So I, I do want to get right into the to living rooms of your audience and, and just tell you guys, we, we want to provide an exceptional experience. That's what we've built our uh, entire careers on here at Stokes Toyota and Buford. Um, so it's, it's similar when you go out to eat, you buy the same meal at your favorite restaurant. Well, you may pay two different things for it because you get exceptional experience with your server, you tip more, right? I mean, so we want to be the place that provides the exceptional exceptional experience that you keep coming back to and over and over again. But you also get the value because we're not market adjusted, we're not selling over sticker, we're not doing any of the things that w would harm you and hurt you financially. So we just, we want to be that go-to dealer for you for all your needs, your, whether you're buying a car, servicing a car, any of those things, we want to be that dealer for, for you. I, yeah, absolutely. Like you guys have that start to finish and service after the sale, like everything. You guys kind of cover, you have them covered. Yeah, the customer is the most important thing. Um, we're not here just to sell cars. We're here to, to build customers and, and to create customers. Mm -hmm. And that's where the value comes. Is then that's why we approach the customer in that way. And being in such a small community, those relationships that just they cultivate and they keep going whenever you're you know, whenever you do it right. So That's exactly there's, right. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much, and thank you guys for tuning in. And be sure to give them a call and come by and see them. This is your Drive of the Week with Stokes Toyota of Buford. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. Halfway through the game, no better time than now to catch up with the cheer team who's been bringing us through and keeping us going. So much fun. Tawny Powers coach joining us. What's the team looking like this year? They are fabulous girls. We have a bunch of leaders this year. Our seniors are fabulous, leading our girls, teaching them so much um, between our cheers, sidelines, dances. So they do a fabulous job um, just getting everybody prepared, school spirit. We decorated the whole hallway this week um, with signs and posters for the boys. So anything to promote school spirit spirit and, and keep our school happy and going for homecoming. Oh, and you've been doing a great job so far tonight. A lot of times performing at halftime, but it's homecoming, so we're not doing that tonight. So we're going to give you a little sample. Yes. Let's see the ladies in action. Go, Stand up, go, big green. Stand up, get loud, go, big green. Our colors tonight Stand will be up, by the get loud, go, big green. Stand up, University of South Carolina Beaufort has three beautiful locations near the beach, Bluffton, Beaufort, and Hilton Head Island. Our students find our small classes and personalized instruction very rewarding. The USCB Sand Sharks have added men's and women's basketball, and we are excited to be new provisional members of NCAA Division II and the Peach Belt Conference. Fins up from USCB. Did you know at FWDG we have furniture, dressless chairs, 
great quality mattresses, bedroom furniture, outdoor furniture, dining sets, and rugs. The Low Country's best furniture and mattress store, FWDG. And now, your Bobcat, homecoming 2023, king and queen. Your king, Bradley Denmark. And your homecoming queen, Mia Campbell. All right, let's give all these students a big round of applause for their participation in the homecoming activities this week. And for our winners, we applaud you all. Hi, I'm Anna, Chicken Salad Chicken, and we are ready for the 2023 football season. Stop by today and grab a quick chick, some cookies, a gallon of iced tea, or a fresh made lemonade to enjoy at your tailgate party. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. All right, we are back. The Bobcats booting from right to left. Hilton Head will make a play on the ball from around the six-yard line. Coming across, looking to spread the field and finally caught up at about the 16-yard line for Hilton Head was number five, Carson Haynes. Yeah, if you're B.J. Payne and the Seahawks, um, you want to make a statement here on this first drive. You know, you've had a little, about 20 minutes to sit there and think about things and talk through uh, game plans and um, adjustments while they had this uh, wonderful homecoming festivity here at halftime. That was cool to see, wasn't it? Always, always. I mean, kids are having fun out here on a Friday and homecoming, especially a rivalry game homecoming, something special in the air. Yeah, it's a family affair. That's, that's why I love high school sports. It's just so cool to see these uh, communities and uh, uh, parents and friends and family and fans support their teams. That's what it's about. Bybee from the shotgun will hand off. That is going to be Timco quickly met by a hum. What kind of Bobcats? I think it is a um, I would say swarm, but that's not scientific. We said a Kindle, accurate. right? A Kindle, like the book you read? A of Kindle of Bobcats, that's ah. right. Yeah, that was definitely a Kindle and uh, these Kindles have a serious attitude tonight. Um, we talked about it the, the halftime uh, show uh, in our, our at least our halftime thoughts, Kevin. That um, you know, BJ Payne's and the, the offense has got to adjust to the pressure that they're seeing from this Bluffton front of of usually five, sometimes six and seven. I mean, you're looking at it. the boxes stacked tall, and they're just playing one on one. Let's see what we got with this one. Once again, we're going to go to the air, and there's our speeder. Oh, number twelve, <laughs> near about a first down. And I gotta believe that's what they talked about. You know, the, the best remedy, and we've got a flag here, unfortunately. Ah, uh, we do. Uh, the best remedy for pressure is to get the ball out quick. You got get it, it out there to your playmakers, and they're just gonna have to do um, well, more. <laughs> it's a procedure penalty on Hilton. They got a longer a way to go. Yeah, I was yeah. just looking to see what the flag was. Yeah, they, they just, it's, it, uh, again, when you're getting that kind of pressure, the only way to get a defense back on their heels and get them a little bit uh, pensive is to Strike. get the ball out quick. You know, outside the numbers, a quick hitter. Uh, well, I like that they're doing those. You're building the pocket, and we're seeing both of these quarterbacks, including Jackson Bobby, stepping up in that pocket. Yeah, they are starting to build a pocket. But, you know, th th the only way to create a real running game is you've got to have a threat of the pass. That's and, it. And um, he'll, Bluff, Bluffton's just been able to tee off because uh, Jackson Bobby and the, and the uh, other than a couple of plays, haven't proven They can take the roof can, off this defense. That's, that's right. Yeah. Well... Bybee's going to keep on trying. The play calling has been excellent. Here we go from the shotgun. It's going to be a screen pass once again to the wide receiver looking 
across the 20 yard line to the 21, 23, and up about the 26 yard line for Hilton Head goes number seven, Jake Huggins, senior yeah. wide receiver, six foot buck 90. I like that. I can already see the adjustments working. Yep. You know, Jake Huggins, we talked about, is a great possession receiver. He likes to find the soft pockets that the defense gives. And Bybee making a nice throw there. Getting them again, again, getting the ball out of his hands quickly is the is the order of the day here in the second half. This is a region game. That's midseason uh, midseason form with that level of a timing play. Obviously, once the receiver gets the ball, we got the measurement come out here. Uh, my point is that you can't block until the receiver's got the ball, and all of his blockers were actually paying attention to you know the timing on that one. Here we go. It looks like he's. Got, what do you think? Oh mercy! Wow. People take vacations shorter than that. Boy, that, yeah, that, yeah, that, that puts B.J. Payne in a, in a really kind of difficult situation here, but I don't think he's going to punt this away. I mean, you know, oh, you, you got to believe with know. Temco you're going to get the six inches that you need. I mean, he's But on that's the... rolling the dice there. You know, you're, you're already uh, facing a seven-point deficit, and you run the risk of giving that high-power bluff and offense the ball deep in your own territory. Third down, one yard to go from the I form. Bybee. Yep, that's a good call. That's going to be a first down. Kevin Severe, State Farm. He is, what a great name, by the way. Kevin has gone a long way for me. I hope it has for him, too. Kevin Severe, State Farm, for all your home and auto insurance needs. And we'd also like to give a shout out to our scoreboard sponsor. The score is uh, currently 14 to 7. But that is simplicity, the support you need when you need it most. Nobody reads a simplicity ad like my guy, DC. Well, it's the Low Country Cremation and Burial Services. I didn't say that. Well, you got it in. <laughs> Off the quarterback draw, we have a handoff to Timco, who's going to bring it to the outside, across the 35, 40, 45, and down across the 50-yard line into Bobcat territory goes Troy Timco. See, this is what I'm talking about, Kevin. They're coming out now and getting into a rhythm. You know, those short passes, those underneath passes, finding the soft spots in this defense. Now, they can't be as aggressive. they got to respect the run. And uh, Timco, or the pass, for, for rather, and Timco breaks off a big one there. Th that's the only way to create space on a defense that's just been teeing off on you all night. you got to keep them guessing. Bybee from the shotgun to the far side. They're going to follow that side of the field and drive right up the middle for about four yards to the Bobcat 46-yard line. Well, that number 52, Devin Grant, plays hard, doesn't he? I mean, he Kevin? reminds me like a Hardy Nickerson. Yeah. That date me. Uh, you want to? I know Brian Erlacher is one of Marcus's favorites. Uh, Hard-nosed linebacker that you know can not just run stuff, but clearly can do a little bit of pass coverage as well. Wait, where's that number 52? Who's that remind you of? Oh, you got to take a pick on that one. Ah. Oh. Ray Lewis. Was Ray fifth? Ray was five two, Ray wasn't was he? Ray was five two. Oh boy, yeah. I just love the dance. There's a nice looking pass. It's gonna go off the fingertips, incomplete. It's gonna bring up a third down, six yards to go for Jackson Bybee. Well, Bybee is definitely has a little bit more time here so far in the second half, and I think that's going to be the critical element for, for the Seahawks. If they can give Bybee time to get in rhythm and get this ball out to his playmakers, um, Hilton Head can do some damage. We've seen some excellent talent from the skill positions on both sides. I do like the big uglies up front, as they call them, because you know it's a team sport. If you don't have chemistry up front, if you're not communicating, the quarterback's going to get dirty. Well, we hear it every week. It, it's all won and lost in the trenches. Bobby, once again, is going to go to that screen pass. This time it's going nowhere. Yeah, that's going to bring up a fourth down. That's a lot of cats. Third down, six they are, and the Bobcats out of the field. I think we'll probably see a boot. What do you think here? I mean, I yeah. You gotta I, bury him, right? Kick yeah, it. Yeah, you just trust your defense. You gotta play field position in a 14 to seven game. You know, again, you know, B.J. Payne can't give Owen Bays and and crew that kind of field position because they can burn you quick. Show sure enough. Bo Sexton on for the kick. The Bobcats will apply the pressure. Sexton with the blue helmet, the white jersey, kicking from left to right across your television screen with the man in motion. Here comes your snap. Oh, ho, ho, oh nice they almost pressure. got another one there, they Kevin. They sure did. Excellent punt. And that's about as good as they get. That's oh, going to be at the one-yard line. Oh, my goodness. How do you like them special teams? Jake Huggins doing the, the Hilton Head two-step down there on the <laughs> one-inch line. Well, 
that's about as good as a special teams play as you're going to see in the game of football. Right. Now, that really makes B.J. Payne's decision look good, doesn't it? Uh, brilliant. Brilliant. There's our guy, VJ, in the far side of the field. Yeah, looking, he's, uh, he's got to be loving what he's seeing there. You know, I, I'm telling you, you're seeing outstanding defense and outstanding special teams for both of these teams. You know, th that's how you create championship uh, winning that's teams. Culture. This is a big game. You know, not only a rivalry game, but a region game. The, the stakes are high tonight. I mean, this is going to be a real chess match to see how this uh, second half unfolds. Uh, yep. Bluffton's got a tall order in front of them here. they got to go 99-plus yards, Kevin. With one in the backfield, Bays is going to look to pass. Bays is going to throw it down the sideline, and that is going to be incomplete. Yeah, that looks like a no call. That could have easily been called interference. I like the no call, though, because the pass was underthrown. It's probably uncatchable, and I think that's probably what the official saw there. Um, a lot of times when a ball is underthrown, you'll see offensive pass interference or defensive pass interference because the receiver stops and the cornerback runs right into him. Quickly, Bays back into the shotgun, bluffing, setting up his blocking assignments. Bays looking over the defense, looking for what he can find with the snap. Bays under pressure, bombs this thing near side, just out of the outstretched arms of Brandon Bryant. This is a third down play where if you don't get out of this shadow of your end zone, you're going to have a real tough punt. Yeah, as good as Ethan Cartmel is, you know, if you don't get any yardage here, he's going to be, uh, he's only going to have 10 yards to work with, and he will literally have his heels on the paint in the back of the end zone for the Bobcats. Of course, we want to thank our pregame sponsor, Appliances by Design of Hilton Head. Unique, extraordinary, great value. And I want to thank Jeremy Pope, who directs, he produces, he edits, and he has created for this season a, a whole package of B-roll with uh, our my, my voice this week, Marcus most weeks, basically introducing these games. JP, I just love that addition after 17 years in this high school product. You, uh, you bring the heat, baby. It makes me happy. It's all about production value, and JP's the best in the business. We want to thank Fat Babies of Hilton Head, your family-friendly neighborhood pizza joint. Fat Babies, get the sausage guy, tell him WHHI sent you. All right, third down, 99 yards to go. Bays takes the snap. Bays looks downfield, under pressure. He will fire the near side, and that is... Oh, oh did he get the foot down? Oh, no, he called him out. They called oh, him out. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry you don't have a replay kit, because that sure looks pretty. Well... Fourth down and 99 yards to go. This special teams play is going to be the highest pressure special teams play we've seen. Yeah, no question. I, you know, I, 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 I don't think that was the right call. I think he had possession of the ball and he dragged his feet. But, you know, that, that the good news is if you're Hilton Head, you still got him pinned back on the 99 and a half yard line if you're Bluffton. So um, Cartmel pr might see pressure here. Either way, I mean... And you got to go punt block here, right? Yeah. It's one of the well, biggest plays of the game. What you don't want to do is rough and give them an automatic first down. Oh, that's so, a good point. So I, I like, you know, maybe sitting back in coverage and trying to create a return. Well, we'll see what we get. Number 24 back gets it away. That's Cartmel's kick, which is going to be taken at about the 42-yard line where it will be downed. Mm. One leg down in high school football means you're down, just like one leg on that interception, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, you know... Yeah. I don't know, Kevin. I've se seen several players slip tonight. I, I, yeah. I, I didn't get a feel that the field was slippery, but it has been um, unseasonably humid for a late September night. It really has. It's a little bit cooler than we're used to. But Floating again, has been a little suspect. Yeah, the games that matter are played in weather, and it's only going to get wetter and colder. Yeah, but that's football weather, isn't that's it? That's football weather, baby. Haven't had enough of them, but uh, we're going to go ahead and sponsor uh, for the penalty flag here is Aflac. Don't penalize your employees by offering just medical insurance or no worksite benefits at all. Call Quentin Miles today to learn how to help your employees at little or no cost to you. Aflac. From the I form. It's going to be a handoff. Right up the gut. Oh, he's breaking it. Oh, he's going. Temco. He's in. Timco time. You know, we're kind of waiting for that. Troy Timco proving why he's one of the best backs in the low country. We've Troy talked about it. He's got great vision, but he showed there he's not one-dimensional. He's got speed and elusiveness, and uh, what, what a good run. What a great job by the offensive line to create that crease. Timco doesn't need much. He found pay dirt. We've seen some big swings, some haymakers. That was a gut punch straight yeah. up between the seams. Thank your blockers, Timco, because that was a 
push. Yeah, if you're if you're BJ Payne, that's an amazing sequence for uh, Hilton Head. You had the great kick to get them pinned down into the side the one and a half or the half yard line. You had the great three and out defensive stop. And then you respond in two plays with a score. Outstanding work by the Seahawks. Bo Sexton, chance to tie. Ball down, kick is up. It is good. We have a 14 to 14 tie in the Bridge Bowl. Did we say barn burner? You called it. The heat is on, baby. Don't miss the rest. We'll be back after this on WHHI Sports TV. Come see us at Copper Frog Car Wash, a family owned, full service, and express service car wash. Our hand washed, thorough cleaning service will have your car looking like new. Our goal is to have you back on the road in 20 minutes. We have everything from express washes to platinum services for you to choose from. Located on the north end of the island, we offer great locals discounts and monthly memberships that will keep your car always looking copper frog clean. Come see us today. Did you know at FWDG we have furniture, dressless chairs, great quality mattresses, bedroom furniture, outdoor furniture, dining sets, and rugs. The Low Country's best furniture and mattress store, FWDG. We are back in a tied football game, the Bridge Bowl on WHHI TV. Daniel, this is fun. It's a ton of fun. Um, you know, and kind of what we expected. You know, these rivalry games, you got to throw the records out. These teams, they all, these players all know each other and they want to beat each other. Oh boy, coming across the 20, 25 yard line. He's got some blockers in front. He's across the 30, 36 yard line. Goes number six. That's Aiton Golfin. We've been seeing him in the backfield quite a bit tonight. Good chance to see him get those legs in motion. Rumbling, yeah. stumbling, a little glide to the stride, a little dip to the hip. The kid's in move. Yeah, I like it. he's a good looking back, isn't he? <laughs> good body, I mean, good that's speed. That's an understatement. Hey, you got just playmakers all over the field here. I, I got to say, you know, we know. These are both great coaching staffs, great head coaches with strong pedigrees. Uh, you know, Hayden Gregory came from a, yeah. a 7A high school in Georgia mm -hmm. where they won the state championship. Mm -hmm. B.J. Payne's kind of become a legend around here. Yeah. You know, this is one of the cleanest, most balanced football games I've seen in a long time. Mid both these teams are playing fundamentally so solid. Midseason football, you normally don't see this level of pro offense. They are spread out, and it's fun. Here we go. That's going to be a handoff to number six. That's a flag flying on the, the run by golf, and we'll see which way that one's going. That's in the area where you'd expect offensive uh, holding. holding. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a chance to do another Gilbert Gottfried impression if you all are down for that. Aflac! <laughs> Don't penalize your employees by offering just medical insurance or no worksite benefits at all. Call Quentin Miles, our guy, today to learn how to help your employees at little or no cost to you. You know, the old Aflac duck. What you don't see from these two quarterbacks is any ducks. I mean, they, Straight they, up. Uh, you know, I, I say I, we've talked about me being a quarterback. I say, you know, when I was in high school, it was more like a running back because I was always running backwards. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't want to call out my offensive line, but hey. we, 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 we were in a really strong division. We played some, we played some beast up front, hey. and uh, it was difficult, but uh, – you know, what it, we, I say it every week, you learn a lot more through adversity than you do through success. I'm not for people to describe the offensive line as getting punched in the face all night, but uh, yeah. you got to love what you love. Here we go from the shotgun once again. We're going to have a pass. It's going to go to the outside. It is a screen, and it's going to go to about the 31-yard line, which is not near enough. Boy, that's a great play by them. Number 24 there for Hilton Head. Who is that? That Hilton is Head uh, number Andrew Massey. Yeah. A freshman? Wow. On the field as a freshman. Go get it, Drew. Good-looking freshman. He's also a running back. They seem to like his handle. Five foot 11, 160 pounds, that's good size. Yeah, so here's where, you know, Bluffton, you know, back on their heels a little bit. You know, Hilton Head came out strong and uh, punched them in the mouth, and uh, they got an answer. You got to respond. Second down 17 is going to look down the field here. It's going to be another short oh, pass. Wow. That is a big time tackle. Woo! Number 44, Connor Weidel, middle linebacker and junior at 5'11, 187, put every ounce of his weight into that. Real thing, big time hit. Yeah, he looks like Brian Erlacher there in the middle, but he, he also has a touchdown to his credit tonight to Kevin That's right, at fullback. He's a fullback. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> good looking player. I'm not sure what he has in mind for a career, but he can lay some wood. No question. So, this is a critical uh, uh, part of the game. You know, we're about five and a half minutes left in the third quarter. And uh, this is where we typically start seeing on a humid night fatigue setting in. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Owen Bay is from the shotgun. He did not want to play a platoon quarterback. He wanted his own team. And behind his line, he is sacked with flags down. 
as Hilton Head number 11, Sheik Thompson. He's going to be at the, the North South game. He is a big body senior, six foot four, two thirty five. That is a big bad man right there. He is a dude. He is definitely a dude. I mean, Hilton Head has a bevy of dudes on their side. So does Bluffton. But what we're almost seeing a, a, a flip of the script here in the second half. It's, yeah. it's now Hilton Head getting pressure on Bays, very much like Bluffton did to Bybee in the first half. Big Mo is indeed shifting. That was a penalty decline. It'll bring up fourth down, and once again, special teams becoming a factor. Well, knowing the intensity of B.J. Payne, who said to me in his pregame uh, – uh, interview you know he said you know we just Hampton County is obviously a great team they lost last week 19 to 3 he said but we just got off the bus and we just we just weren't there you know so these are young men and sometimes you know uh, you, you got to get them up for games and that's not always easy to do but uh, he said they were just uh, they were just off all night and I got to believe after the first half BJ got in the grill of his team and they're answering the bell Ethan Cartmel out to kick again it's been a long time since we had a punter as player of the game, but uh, this kid's definitely putting in his his fair shake for that. He's getting a lot of work tonight, but, man, he he uh, he's an impressive-looking punter. He reminds me a little bit of the punter over there, Teva Paw, for Hilton Head Christian Academy. These are Division One punters for sure. So back to return for Hilton Head is number six, Caleb Spangler. That kick is away. And that's going to come up a little bit short. We'll see if anyone touched it. And not yet. So it's going to be All good right. field position for uh, Hilton Head once again. All right, and once again, we're going to see what Hilton Head can do. It's a tie ball game, folks. The pressure is raising. We are in the second half of play. And while we have a little slow in the action, I'd like to give a shout-out to our national anthem sponsor, O.C. Welch. Go see O.C. for a great car buying experience. Go say hi to Bo and Chip and the whole gang. Go see O.C. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and thank our Media Day sponsor, FWDG, the furniture and services you deserve at FWDG. I love that ad. She does a good job. I like the, uh, the acting ability of... Yeah, we love our sponsors. We couldn't do this fabulous. without them. That's why we exist. From the shotgun, it's going to be a handoff. And as usual, it is indeed Troy Timko going... A little bit, not too far. I'd say about a yard, yard and a half. Talking about uh, great uh, players that wore the number 52. Mm. Um, can you think of any great running backs that wore number 33? Oh, that's a good one. I'm third down back, I'm going to go with, uh, I mean, Lewis from my Patriots is a guy I want to ring. Yeah. Deion Lewis, I loved him. Deion Lewis, yeah. Um, that, that's a more contemporary uh, version. I'm going to go old school again, partner. Tony Dorsett. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> that's Tony right D, up, touchdown that is, Tony. That's up my alley. There's a pitch pass to the far side with blockers in front. Does not find the edge. It's going to be Tim Coe getting caught up with some nice linebacker play from those cats. Yeah, just wonderful pursuit by the by the front seven of Bluffton. And they've just been playing a whale of a ball game all they night. They had numbers. I mean, on the top of that pitch, they had numbers. It was just those Bobcats holding their own, winning their matchups. Nowhere to go for Troy Timko. Well, we, we were excited about this contest coming in, and it's, it's, it's delivering. I mean, these two teams are really equally matched, very balanced on, in all phases of the game, very well coached. It's going to be exciting to see. I mean, th this is anybody's ball game at this point. Third down, five yards to go. We are inside four minutes in the third quarter of the Bridge Bowl. It is Hilton Head. It is Bluffton. It is the rivalry game. It is going to be a handoff to Troy Timko, who goes a whole lot of nowhere. It's going to bring up third down, five. Well, Kevin, with that play call, I think B.J. Payne is making his intentions known that he was looking at as, as a two-play um, yeah. attempt to get this first down. You know, he wanted to try to get it there, but get enough yardage to make this uh, fourth down conversion a short yep. one. Forgive my mistake there indeed. Uh, third and five becomes fourth down three. The offense remains on the field for these Seahawks. They are in Bobcat territory at the 47-yard line. They will break the huddle. This is the play of the game up to this point, partner. This, this is a big conversion. This is a big one. We talk about momentum shifts all the time. This is a big one here. Bobby from the shotgun. He's going to call signals. He's going to look to his offensive coordinator, confirm that they like the play call, and we will have a timeout. Hilton Head timeout. We're going to take it with him. Folks, this is going to be fun the rest of the way. Stick with us. We'll be right back. If you want to protect your loved ones from additional stress and expense, plan ahead with Simplicity Cremation and Burial Services. Planning ahead tells your loved ones exactly what you want for your final wishes and protects them from rising costs. Make your final arrangements today with Simplicity Cremation and Burial Services. 
visit lowcountryfuneral.com. That's lowcountryfuneral.com. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. As we take another sideline break, I always love to give a shout out to our friends at Copper Frog Car Wash for supporting the broadcast of youth athletics and these sideline reports. I found the president of the Booster Club. She's here with me now. Her name is April. Thanks so much for taking a minute. Oh no, no problem at all. So talk to us a little bit about what's all going on right now with the Booster Club. So right now, because it's Friday Night Lights, one of our favorite times in Bluffton period, um, we are running concession. We also have a spot under our state of mind. Um, we have all your favorites, your hamburgers, your hot dogs, dogs, chips, candy, pickles, even our kettle corn popcorn that everyone loves. Yes, love that. Yes. So good. You also help all kinds of different things like organizing fundraisers and, and things that are happening throughout the year. You raise money. What does that go towards? So that goes to all of our sports. Um, all of our teams, we do not specify each one. The only time any team gets specific money is if it's through them, like if they've done it themselves, which a lot of our coaches do have some private um, sponsorships. Like you'll see on our field where they have the, the names out on the boards right that's directly football um, but we help with all sports we help with uniforms with state championships which we hope to have some more this year yes. for sure yep awesome well y'all are doing a great job tonight thank you for taking a no, break with you. us we appreciate it yeah have a great football. night fourth down three yards ago the punters in the backfield but so is the quarterback it's going to go directly to the punter on the hop we have a nice healthy boot this ball will roll down inside the 10 inside the five ish that's where it's going to go down at a boot, the five-yard line, Jake Huggins makes it. The Bobcat offense will be back out from their own five-yard line. Well, I really, yeah. I really like the decision there uh, by B.J. Payne. Uh, yeah. you know, sometimes, you know, for coaches, when you got good offenses, it's just such a temptation to go for it when you're fourth and short. But B.J. Payne playing position, uh, possession football, and once again, they have pinned the Bobcats deep. A wonderful job by Jake Huggins on the coverage, good kicking. Um, who was our punter? Oh, which team? For Hilton Head. Oh, uh, as we look over at the Hilton Head board I've created, him a shout I out. have Bo Sexton, number eight. Yeah. He's handling both handles, the, uh, the kicker and the Bo, punter. Bo Sexton says uh, Cartmel's not the only kicker in this game. He's oh, doing yeah. an outstanding job. Specialists have been wonderful tonight. All right, Bobcats back on offense. It's going to be Bays calling the signals. He's going to take the direct snap. He's going to look to the outside. He's going to look to the inside. He's going to throw to the outside, and that is a pro-level play. How do you like them apples? Pro-level indeed. Number I mean, 16, Marvin Clark, showing some hands. Just a sophomore. That was a strike by Owen Bays and a great catch. Nice route, length, hands, a sophomore? How about that? Yeah, you said a, you said a high-level play. That was a high level indeed, considering uh, their position on the field. I mean, Bays had his heels on the, on the back of the end zone. And the run up the middle is going to be right into the teeth of the Hilton Head Seahawks. That's right, birds with teeth. You saw it here first. Daniel, well, there's going to be some extracurriculars while they figure uh -huh. that out. Tell us about the Main Stage Theater's community leader for this week. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, Main Stage Community Theater, our, our motto is engage the artist in anyone and inspire the arts in everyone. Our uh, recipient this week was my good friend, Dawn Rosa Miller, who is the owner of Bluffton School of Dance, known Dawn for 20 plus years. Um, she has a passion for youth. She has a passion for this community. She's been a great partner of ours, but uh, what a worthy recipient of tonight's award. It was such an honor to give her that. All right, we got a personal foul. That's going to go against the Seahawks. We have a personal foul. That's going to go into the Bobcats. They will offset, and it's almost like they didn't call anything at all. Second down. Yeah, they're just letting the players know, you know, look, look we need to keep this as a good game. It's been a clean game. We need to keep the extracurriculars out. You get enough I, of those, I, they eject you. I like the offsetting. Right. Now, the, the players that were, that were uh, given those penalties, now the next one is an ejection. Bays will spread out his offense, looking at a very unique Hilton Head defense. Three in the front, three in the linebacker slots. They have four defensive backs. That is going to be a bomb down the sideline, and that's going to go. He got it. 
Let's see if they mark him out of, out of bounds. Oh. <laughs> well, I love the outside the numbers stuff. It's nothing if not fun. I do. You know, um, in high school, you don't often you don't see, see teams that can go downfield with that kind of proficient success. Bluffton can certainly do that. We do well, have another some flag. laundry. More Affleck uh, time on here. Carnell Warren is uh, the sophomore, six foot three, one ninety five, number three for those Bobcats who made a heck of a play, albeit perhaps out of bounds. Uh, or Affleck. Penalty flag sponsor. Don't penalize employees by offering just medical insurance or no worksite benefits at all. Call Quentin Miles, the handsome man you see on the ads, today to learn how to help your employees at little or no cost to you. Legal hands to the face, is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's all a right. big call. You know, again, we, we talk about this all the time. You know, in a, in a close game like this, two, two um, really evenly matched teams, the, the, the game can turn on one play. That's a huge penalty by Hilton Head there to give uh, – Bluffed a new life. A reminder, we had free football last year. This game went to overtime. From the shotgun, it's going to be Bays looking quickly to the outside. Two number three, and he's going to have another Kevin Severe first down. That is number three, Carnell Warren, who's uh, making a name for himself out here. He's, he's everywhere. Yeah, he's had a good game. I think that's four or five catches for him tonight. He's a great target, a big target for uh, Owen Bays there. And I'll tell you, these receivers can uh, bluffed and continue to impress. They catch the ball. They know what to do with it once they catch it. A lot of positive yards after catch. 6-3-195. I don't want anything to do with defending that. Here we go with a direct snap. It's going to be a handoff to number six to the outside. He's going to break a tackle and get a boot a yard. That is Aiton Golfin once again making it happen for these Bobcats. Yeah, good stop there by Caleb Spangler. He's a good-looking football player there on the Seahawk defensive front. Tackling one-on-one -on -one is hard. Yeah, now the Bobcats got a little breathing room. You know, they've been penned really deep in their own territory for this entire third quarter. Now they can breathe a little bit and get into the flow of their offense. Owen Bay is going to keep it on going here. It's going to be another bomb down this near side. He's got a jump ball that is dropped. Oh. Great position, great defense. How about that from number five, Carson Haynes, a junior wide receiver playing the cornerback position, playing the ball well. Yeah, that was a jump ball. Carno Warren actually had it, but uh, like you said, Kevin, just excellent defense there. Well, it's going to bring up a third down with eight yards to go. We are in a tied ball game. This is number five, Owen Bays, playing against his former team. He came across the bridge to lead these Bobcats. He did not want a platoon situation opposite Jackson Bybee. Owen Bays, number five, is your quarterback for these Bluffton Bobcats. He has called a fabulous game. We have seen pre-snap motion. We have seen adjustments uh, specifically with the blocking formations. We have seen some great dimes. We've seen some balls inside the numbers, outside the numbers. What else could you want from number five? Yeah, Bayes is a good-looking quarterback. You know, he can hurt you with his, with his feet for sure, but he's got a great arm. Like we talked about, he steps into his throws. He's very accurate. Um, you know, he had some big shoes to feel coming over here, uh, taking over the helm from uh, Max Vohenhunt. Von Mad Von Max. Owen Stratton, Mad Max, who had a great career. He was a true passer. Uh, Owens brings an extra threat with those feet. Absolutely. A lot of quarterback sneaks and uh, draws working out well. There's a pass to the outside that is going to be picked, and he's going to clear out to the end zone. Oh, boy, that's a big one. Whoa. Good night, Mama. 26 for your Hilton Head Island Seahawks is not on my roster. <laughs> He's not on mine either. All right, well, young man, that was a play of the day. That is seven points with the kick for these Hilton Head Seahawks. That is a game breaker. Well, we'll, if, we'll find out who yeah. that young man is. We do not have him on our roster, but what a play. What a break on the ball. He, he got, he, he, he read. Owen Bay's eyes there, made a break on it, and straight to pay dirt. We talked about uh, one play turning the momentum. That was it. That is Lucas Thibodeau. Thibodeau, Thibodeau. All right, we're going to stop before the kick there. We got flags down. We'll see if this is going to be a longer extra point or maybe a two-point try. Offsides or encroachment looks like on the defense. So from the one-yard line, we'll try it again. Well, this is always a question. When you get an encroachment on a, on a PAT, a lot of times coaches want to punch that in for the two points. Well, let's see what B.J. Payne decides to do. He's been fairly conservative to his own credit and benefit in this one. I think we're going to see a kick. I agree. Yeah, what you don't want to do is miss that conversion 
and make it a six-point game because then you're then you're suspect. All righty, we're gonna get an extra point attempt to make this a seven-point game. B.J. Payne, the play calling has been excellent for the fellow who leads his guys on the tour of Payne. More on that later. All right, here's the ball. Kick is up. It's gonna be good. 117 to play, third quarter, 21-14. Hilton Head with the lead. It's homecoming. Don't miss the rest of this one, y'all. We'll be back. My name is Quentin Miles, sales coordinator for Charleston, Bluffton, Hilton Head, Beaufort. Aflac has a proprietary cloud-based enrollment platform available to you at no employer cost. We help you manage your hiring and retention competitiveness, and we help your employees manage the rising costs of healthcare affordably. I've got 17 years experience to help you make the right decision with your employee benefits. Contact me today for more information. Hi, I'm Anna Chicken Salad Chick, and we are ready for the 2023 football season. Stop by today and grab a quick chick, some cookies, a gallon of iced tea, or a fresh made lemonade to enjoy at your tailgate party. Welcome back, everybody. Number eight, Bo Sexton will be kicking from the near side left to the far side right on your television screen. Here comes the big boot. It's got some loft from the 20-yard line. Bluffton on the return across near the 25-yard line, going right to left across the field near about the 30-yard line. Eating golf and getting a lot of work tonight, isn't it, Kevin? Those legs are stumbling, rumbling, moving, moving. <laughs> Boy, we got a ball game here. This is exciting. I hope everybody sticks with us because these rivalry games, they, they are always fun to the bitter end. We want to thank our tailgate sponsor, Chicken Salad Chick, Chicken Salad Chick of Bluffed, and delicious scratch-made, craveable favorites served from the heart. Yeah, and also our postcard uh, sponsor, LC Alliance for Healthy Youth. Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth, uniting the community to promote positive choices. All right, back on these Bobcats. Looking downfield, we got another bomb away, and they've got some. Oh, boy, was that a close one. How do you, I mean, I get that he's complaining, but that looked like a pretty catchable ball. Yeah, it looked like, you know, he might He might have an argument there. It yeah, what did you like, see? Uh, I mean, Brandon Brand doesn't complain. He might have been restricting his arms. All right. But, uh, you know, the refs are letting them play, and I'm okay with that. I liked listening to. Um, Oh, gosh, I think it was Darrell Rivas. Somebody was talking about defending Randy Moss and how Randy would never hint the ball was arriving until the ball was there. Yeah. So running downfield, he wasn't going to follow the ball with his eyes necessarily. Um, he was n most certainly not going to raise his hands up until the ball was on top of him. Excellent points. You know, we talked about that in the first half. The, the, the well-coached defensive backs are looking at the eyes of the receiver, and that's when they can get their hands up and – guard the pass. Bombs away, he's wide open. Oh boy, that's going to be a touchdown. Woo! Look out, look out. Number 11, Nathan Ulmer. Touchdown, Bobcats. Boy, um, Owen Bays had to be licking his chops. That's got to be a busted coverage, you have to believe, Kevin. And Nathan Ulmer found the open area, which had to look like the parting of the Red Sea. We have a game that's about to be tied at 21-21. There is less than a minute to play to come into a fourth quarter of a rivalry game. It's homecoming night. Are you having fun, everybody? I sure am, partner. It's, this has uh, been a great football game. If you think it gets better than this, you are wrong. <laughs> what an answer by Bluffton. Ethan Cartmel to tie. The snap is down, the kick is away. It is a high kick and it is good. 21 Bluffton, 21 Hilton Head. We have a full quarter still to play. It ain't over y'all, come on back. Appliances by Design was founded on Hilton Head and is serving the low country. We're local owners, industry professionals, and we're here to help. When you're ready to replace that mattress with some quality sleep, we've got you covered. We've got the best prices on well-known brands like Beautyrest to support the highest quality of sleep. Get the quality you need for the best price. Plus we do delivery, installation, warranty work, so you get service like you've never had before. Appliances by design. 20 Hatton Place, Hilton Head Island, next to Barnes & Noble. I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. 
come see us during our 38th anniversary where we have 2023 F-150s at 1.9% financing. Call or come see me today only at OC Welch in Hardyville, South Carolina. Thank you very much. We are back with the big boot going right to left. The Bobcats kicking to the Seahawks who will play the ball around the 18 yard line. Uh, that is their speed guy. Look out, baby. Here we go. 45 oh. and he got horse collared. And we're not going to see a flag. Oh, uh, there's the flag. All right. I think 15 he got yards. face masked. Yeah. I just hope he's okay. That's a dangerous play. Yeah, it is. Um, Hilton head for number 12. That is Javarian Hamilton, who is probably the fastest kid on the field. It is fun to see those, those burners go into action, isn't it? Yeah, and unfortunately, I think the, the only way to stop him there was to grab his face mask. Let's I, just I, hope he's okay. You never coach it that way. It's a dangerous, dangerous play. But uh, talk about a game changer. That is a game-breaking play regardless. We're going to see 15 yards on top of that return. Personal foul was the face mask. Good call, DC. Well, what, uh, what was a really uh, stifling defensive contest in the first half has turned into a little bit of a track meet here in the second. Endurance, conditioning, a lot of these kids are going both ways, and this is how it goes. We saw 42 unanswered from Whale Branch, same idea where the school which, which had the best conditioning really did show up. These Seahawks can fly. I mean, if you want to see speed in the low country, you're going to get plenty of chances. Javar and Hamilton, he can move. Senior well, 5'10", 156. You make some good points about uh, uh, fatigue. You know, this yeah. is usually when you see fatigue. And you know, they say fatigue makes cowards of all men. We'll see <laughs> which team can stand tallest here oh, as we get to the end. Oh, there he goes. Oh, no. Tim Coates to the outside. He's got help. 19-yard line on that one. And Troy Timko has got the it's Hilton Head Seahawks. They are moving and grooving. Yeah, Timko once again, you know, what a, what a, what a star for, for the Seahawks, you know, proving why he is the uh, – the leader of this football team. He's got to be getting close to 100 yards on the night. And, um, you know, when they get into the fourth quarter, I think the Seahawks call it Timco time. I think it was Vince Lombardi that said something to the effect of uh, fatigue is the cause of most mistakes. Yeah, well, it's true. Under center and under the I-form, we're going to have Timco once again run up the middle, and he's going to be quickly met by some big old bobcats. We want to thank our coin toss sponsor, Kawhi Piano Gallery by Heron, for piano sales, rentals, service, and now lessons. Call Kawhi Piano Gallery by Heron today. Boy, it's fun to learn an instrument. Well, you talk about fatigue, Kevin. You know, th this is when all that conditioning that you do in the summer yep. and uh, in the off season, this is where it uh, com comes into play. Most importantly, quarter number four. Here we it's go. It's money time. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll be here for you. Come on back, y'all. It's the pre-grand opening celebration of the all-new Kia Country of Hilton Head. Truckloads of new Kias are arriving daily with exclusive Kia Country celebration savings. Choose from new 2024 Telluride, Sportage, Sorento, even the all-electric EV6. America's fastest growing brand is here in Hilton Head in the newest, most advanced dealership in America. Don't miss the pre-grand opening savings now. The all-new Kia Country of Hilton Head, next to Tractor Supply in Bluffton. This is the mower that cut the lawn, that became the place their kids grew up. The legendary Xmark Laser Z is the zero-turn mower more landscape pros trust. For cut quality, comfort, and reliability, Xmark, official mowers of the backyard life. Visit your local dealer or explore the Xmark Laser Z online for special finance offers, available now. Did you know at FWDG, we have furniture, dressless chairs, great quality mattresses, bedroom furniture, outdoor furniture, dining sets, and rugs. The Low Country's best furniture and mattress store, FWDG. All right, I've been watching this guy here on the sidelines, really involved student. In fact, uh, athletic director Todd bragged on you quite a bit. This is Brady Satcha. Thanks for taking a minute with us. Tell us a little bit about what you're involved in here at the school. Hey, so I'm, I'm on the junior. Oh, shoot. It's okay. We're kids. We're not lying. <laughs> okay. okay. Over. All right. I've been watching this guy on the sidelines. He's been helping out, doing all kinds of things. Athletic director Todd has bragged on you. This is Brady Satcha. We're glad to take a minute with you. Tell us a little bit about what you do here at the school and as a student. So I'm a junior here at Bluffton High School, and I've been a Bobcat fan ever since I've. Can remember it. I've been out at these games forever, 
and I'm also a member of the varsity golf team here. So it's so cool to watch a student step up and really get involved in their school and their and their team. I'm a little surprised for you tonight. You've actually are our award recipient for our student leader award. Wow. This is presented, of course, by us and by USCB. So I just want to say thank you for you know your involvement in the school and all that you do, and of course taking a minute with us here. Yeah, of course. Thank you. We appreciate it and congratulations. Yeah, thank you. You bet. Fourth quarter action. Second down and seven. Under center. And with a quick handoff, that is going to go a quick nowhere. Take your pick of number 52 linebacker. That is some excellent play up the middle. And Devin Grant continuing to lead the charge there for this Bluffton defense. But uh, I'll tell you, Hilton Head's got them back on their heels here. Let's see uh, with 11 uh, 30 and counting to go here in the fourth quarter. It's crunch time. They're taking their time. They're letting the clock run. They know this is their chance to go ahead in the fourth quarter. It is money time. These Seahawks have competed. It's all about how you answer. There have been big punches on both sides, and both sides have gotten back up. We have a timeout. It is going to be charged to the Hilton Head Seahawks. We're going to take that timeout with them. We'll be right back with y'all. Come on back now. Come see us at Copper Frog Car Wash, a family-owned, full-service and express service car wash. Our hand-washed, thorough cleaning service will have your car looking like new. Our goal is to have you back on the road in 20 minutes. We have everything from express washes to platinum services for you to choose from. Located on the north end of the island, we offer great locals discounts and monthly memberships that will keep your car always looking Copper Frog clean. Come see us today. Living on the coast offers a unique lifestyle, but with that comes the need for a specialized approach to helping protect residents and business owners from year-round winds, high tides, and torrential rain. Since 1850, our family-owned business has been helping friends and neighbors navigate whatever Mother Nature has thrown our way. At CT Lounge, we know coastal insurance. Visit us at ctlounge.com. Let us help you prepare for hurricane season. Jackson Bybee under center will hand off to Troy Timko to the right side. Timko is going to take it up for about two yards before he is met by more Bobcats than I have words for. While we got the chance, let's go ahead and have Daniel hit us with USCB, our Student Community Leader Award. USCB, more than you can imagine. And this game has been a little bit more than I imagined. I knew it would be close, but this is, uh, this is exciting football, and BJ... Payne continue to lean on this kicking game here in the second half. This is a big one. Fourth down, five yards to go, fourth quarter, a chance for the lead. Bo Sexton is your kicker. Kicking from right to left. The snap, the ball down, the kick is away. That kick is good. He got it. Hilton had taken a big three-point lead on that one. Nice kick, Bo Sexton. Bo Sexton so far has been your second half MVP. I tell you, the special teams continue to impress. More impressive stuff to come. We will be back right after this. Come to Fat Babies for game day and root for your favorite team with a platter that comes with a bucket of beer. The Gamecocks platter has 24 boneless wings, four flavors, fries, and celery. The Tiger platter is two medium pizzas, four toppings, garlic knots, and marinara. The Bulldog platter has six hot dogs, fries, chili cheese, and all the fixins. And for a football feast, the Buckeye platter, ribs, fries, mac and cheese, and slaw. Each platter is only 40 bucks and comes with a bucket of beer. So whoever you're rooting for, game day at Fat Babies is sure to be a touchdown. Did you know at FWDG, we have furniture, dressless chairs, great quality mattresses, bedroom furniture, outdoor furniture, dining sets, and rugs. The Low Country's best furniture and mattress store, FWDG. Welcome back everybody, it is the Bridge Bowl. From the far hash, we have a big boot to the Bluffton side of the field and it's gonna be fair caught at about the 30 yard line. It is going to be caught by number 16, Marvin Clark, for the Bluffton Bobcats. Daniel, the coaches, it's all about at this point, midseason form, first region game of the year. Can they communicate effectively a strategy? Because what we've seen is a lot of adjustments. We've got a young coach here that we're taking a good look at here with, uh, with Baines. And i got to tell you, he's doing a great job holding up against BJ. BJ is known in the low country for being some of the 
you know, being one of the best developers of Division One athletes that we have. There's a lot of NFL players coming out of Hilton Head High. Yeah. There's some from Bluffton, too, and, and you can see why. Yeah, both these guys, again, we've talked about it. You know, they, they have strong pedigrees. They have strong players, and they know how to coach them up. What I'd like to see Bluffton do is just that. Now, we got to work on our tackling, but that is a nice completion to number 16, Marvin Clark. I don't like seeing dangerous tackling. That, that's one of my pet peeves. Yeah, that could have could have been a personal foul, but again, these refs are letting them play, and I'm okay with that. Or flown. Um, what I, you know, we, we talk about, you, I like how you you, 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 re, you refer to it as Owen Bay's being able to take the top off of a defense. Yep. But you, you know how you set that up? You do these underneath passes. 100%. And, and, you want to make them I, guess that it's short so you can go long. Yep. I like to see uh, Bluffton mix it up a little bit, soften that front to seven of Hilton had then go up top to Brandon uh, Bryant or uh, Carnell Warren. From the shotgun, it's just what you call it. Down the sidelines, it's going to be number 16. He's got it, and he's gone. Oh, Good my night, goodness. Ho, ho, ho. Marvin Clark, a sophomore. To the outside, that is six big points for the Bobcats. And I'm just talking about Brandon Bryant and Carnell Warren with good reason. But Marvin Clark is a great looking receiver. That's like the third pass I've seen him catch tonight. He's got great hands and another Bluffton Bobcat receiver that knows what to do with the football once he's secured it. Now you gotta forgive me, I'm looking at the Bluffton roster. I also have 16 as Kyler Vick, a wide receiver and a junior. So apologies to Mr. Vick if indeed I've uh, given Mr. Clark your, your touchdown call, but what a catch by number 16. Yeah, that could be Kyler Vick, couldn't it? We've got, got two, two 16s on, the roster. on our roster. Yeah, we'll confirm that here with our Bluffton guys. All right. A chance to make this a four-point game. Ethan Cartmel from right to left. That one's good with plenty of leg. Indeed, Kyler Vick was your touchdown recipient there. Mr. Vick, my apologies. Number 16, Kyler Vick, the junior, getting it done. Folks, we have a ball game. 28-24, it's the Bridge Bowl, everybody. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Life is grand with a piano. Kauai Piano Gallery by Heron and Heron Piano Consignment serves Bluffton, Savannah, Charleston, Beaufort, and Hilton Head for piano sales, rentals, and service. Kauai Piano Gallery in Bluffton offers the full line of Kauai products, from hybrids and digitals to concert grand pianos. Quality pre-owned inventory includes Kauai, Steinway, Yamaha, Baldwin, and more also now offering lessons. Head to Kauai Piano Gallery by Heron.com. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Did you know that the amount of tire that's actually making contact with the road is about the same size as a slice of watermelon. And that's all you have to keep you safe. It makes sense to have the best like Michelin. That's why Island Tire has been proudly selling Michelin tires since 1978. At Island Tire, we don't think of it as just a set of tires. You can trust us to be thinking about the safety of your car, and more importantly, what's inside. Ethan Cartmel kicking off from uh, left to right on your television screen as we take a look at the Hilton Head return. It's going to be once again Mr. Hamilton from the 8-yard line with some room and some blockers and some room. To the 38-yard line goes number 12. That is Javarian uh, Hamilton. Yeah, I want to give a quick uh, shout out to our presenting sponsor, Summit Services. Summit Services Heating and Air, your leader in home performance services in the low country. Thanks to Summit Services for supporting WHHI Sports all year. Call Summit Services, baby. We also want to thank Copper Frog, Jesse Jeremiah, holding down my gig tonight doing the sideline reporting. Copper Frog, your full service car wash on Hilton Head Island. You work so hard, you know, you get the summer job, and if you know, if you're like me, you worked for your first car if you're able to get one. You might as well make it look pretty. Got a big date. Why not? You know, make it smell nice. And they can shine it up, can't they, over at Copper Frog? There's one way to get it done right, and it's Copper Frog Car Wash. From the I form, it's going to be Timco up the middle, and that gut is a jab. I wouldn't say that's a gut punch, but he's got about three yards. Well, talking about punch, I mean, this second half has been nothing but punch and counter punch. It's like a heavyweight uh, battle here, isn't it, Kevin? Are you not entertained? It's fun. I mean, the reality is this is mid-season form. We're seeing some high talent and high skill from the skill positions. And particularly yeah. early in the year, you're going to see a lot of running, a lot of gaps uh, you know, up the middle. And just what we're seeing some of this offense Troy Timko trying to do, which is to run the ball straight down these guys' throats. This time of year, people should know how to get their feet right in a three-point stance. And unless you get some big dogs up front, you got to learn how to play on the outside of the numbers. Well, you said it, and, and these, these teams definitely are in mid-season form, both playing very disciplined ball games. 
we're going to have an MVP at some point in this one. It's going to be tough to pick it. We want to thank our sponsor, Island Tire, the longest serving tire retailer and auto repair on Hilton Head in Island tradition. we got a timeout in the field. We'll take it with them. Come on back, y'all. We'll be right back. You asked and we listened. Nobo Mattress is growing. We've opened a second location in the village at Main Street. For those who didn't want to cross the bridge, we're now open on Hilton Head Island. Locally, family owned and operated, ranked number one by our customers in service, price, and quality. We have over 250 years in manufacturing in our showroom. Our relationship with our customers does not end with the sale. We can save you 55 to 80% off retail, and that's no bull. It's the pre-grand opening celebration of the all-new Kia Country of Hilton Head. Truckloads of new Kias are arriving daily with exclusive Kia Country celebration savings. Choose from new 2024 Telluride, Sportage, Sorento, even the all-electric EV6. America's fastest growing brand is here in Hilton Head in the newest, most advanced dealership in America. Don't miss the pre-grand opening savings now. The all-new Kia Country of Hilton Head, next to Tractor Supply in Bluffton. Jackson Bybee from the shotgun. That was Hilton Head's last time out. Bybee is going to look over the field. He's going to escape. No, he will not. Boy, what a stand there at a, at a critical time for Bluffton's defense. Senior Shane Whitaker, number zero. Big play. You know, we talked a lot about these two quarterbacks, you know, being teammates last year in that two platoon system for B.J. Payne, now playing as adversaries. You know, I, I, they're... They're both great, very capable quarterbacks, but have different styles. You know, Owen Bays is is more of your you know your your true passer, where Jackson Bybee, who is also a good passer, but more of a game management quarterback. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to come down to uh, the decision making and execution of these two quarterbacks as we get to what about eight minutes left. Both these dudes can sling it. It's been fun. It'll stay that way if all goes to plan. There's that speed. Sir Hamilton across. They're not going to get to him. They're going to go underneath. Oh, how about that for some fun? Hook and ladder. That was a pretty way to go to Troy Timko. And, uh, yeah, man, more than just a sandwich at Firehouse Subs, that hook and ladder looked pretty nice. Wish they were a sponsor. But you know who is? Stokes. Visit Stokes Toyota of Beaufort, your friendly community dealer for a truly exceptional experience. Stokes Toyota of Beaufort. And you know what's been no bull in this game, Kevin? These two teams, boy, they are playing well. But speaking of no bull, no bull mattress will have our play of the game. No bull mattress and more. Visit us in Bluffton or Hilton Head for quality mattresses at affordable prices. And that's no bull. That's no bull. Mattresses can be a ripoff if uh, you don't have a bull in your life. Let's go ahead and take a break. <laughs> BJ Payne wants to talk to his guys. we got a timeout. We'll take it with him. Come on back, y'all. Fourth quarter is here with us. Hi, I'm Cindy Seaman, chairman of the board of Main Stage Community Theater. And with me is Daniel Court, our vice chair. Our mission is very simple. Engage the artist in anyone and inspire the arts in everyone. And perhaps our vision statement says it best. We are a gathering place for our community to connect and celebrate over great storytelling. From the back of the stage to the front of the house, we all are making an impact. But wait, our next great production is in the works. Mark your calendars for Main Stage Community Theater's upcoming production, Into the Woods Jr. Shows run November 16th through 19th and is proudly presented by Court Atkins Group. Visit MainStageCommunityTheater.org for complete details and don't miss Into the Woods Jr. 7.46 to play, fourth down and three from the I form. Here we go, Jackson Bybee is gonna hand off. It's Troy Timko, he's got some room to work. And he's not going to go wow. near enough. These Bobcats made a huge play. They're getting this football. That's a huge stop on fourth down. You know, boy, BJ, you know, we talked about his conservative play calling here in the second half, which has worked really well for him. That was rolling the dice there, and it didn't pay off. Daniel, you, you a coffee drinker? I love coffee. All right, you ready to grind? Because we got eight minutes. And these Bobcats are going to do the very best they can to grind out every inch of this clock. There's no timeouts left for Hilton Head. We're going to see some runs, and we're going to see some gut punches. Are you ready? Yeah, well, they, and they have a good opportunity now to uh, push this out to a two-score game and really put Hilton Head in a difficult position to win this game and come back. 
What do I know? It's a five wide spread for number five, Owen Bays, currently taking down his former head coach, B.J. Payne. Bays, from the spread formation, will take the snap, but not before the whistle. It's going to be a timeout. Let's go ahead and thank our timeout sponsor, Kia of Hilton Head. If you want to pay more for a car, well, that's your business. If you want to pay less, that's Kia Country's business. Kia of Hilton Head, they have some bargains. You know, if you want that 10-year warranty, it's, it's pretty nice. All right, folks, we're going to commercial. Come on back, y'all. University of South Carolina Beaufort has three beautiful locations near the beach, Bluffton, Beaufort, and Hilton Head Island. Our students find our small classes and personalized instruction very rewarding. The USCB Sand Sharks have added men's and women's basketball, and we are excited to be new provisional members of NCAA Division II and the Peach Belt Conference. Fins up from USCB. I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come see us during our 38th anniversary where we have 2023 F-150s at 1.9% financing. Call or come see me today only at OC Welch in Hardyville, South Carolina. Thank you very much. Taking a break from football. Of course, we love covering football here at Bluffton High School, but we're going to talk about all sports because we've got the athletic director who is joining us, Todd Stewart. Thanks so much for taking a minute with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. I know you're a busy guy too, but <laughs> give us a little overview about what fall sports are shaping up to be. Um, fall sports well underway. We're kind of mid-season for a lot of our teams right now. Um, uh, tonight's our first matchup against a region opponent in football. Some of our other teams have already um, been in the middle of region play, which is very important because um, region contention, region placement kind of determines playoff home, playoff spot versus away. Um, so that's where we are. Yeah. Um, our girls volleyball team and boys volleyball team are doing very well so far representing us. Uh, same with cross country. Swim is in region um, uh, swim meet tomorrow. So excited to see them. Yeah, lots going on, and we got yeah. to catch up with the girls' golf team just coming off of first place. So a lot happening here. I know there's some things you're looking forward to for spring as well, but I, we want to get you back in the in the mix here. So thanks again, Todd, for your time. Sure, absolutely. 7.40 to play, 28-24. These Bobcats are looking to wind this clock down. It is number five, Owen Bays, against his former team, the Hilton Head Seahawks working at this time from a five wide spread in the shotgun formation. Bays will direct his offensive line and receive the snap. It will be a screen pass to his best receiver. It is quickly handled by these Seahawks, but a nice catch still by number one, Brandon Bryant, who well, has been an impact great player. Great job by, by Hilton Head's defense there. I mean, they like you said, they had a five wide spread. They had four uh, set up there on the left, setting up a, a, a basically a, a, a lead screen for Brandon Bryant and uh, just super pursuit and tackling there by Hilton Head. You see that ball is on the far hash mark. They are bunched to the far side with one receiver to the near side right. However, that receiver is number 16, Marvin Clark having, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> Kyler Vick, number 16. Marvin Clark's getting a lot of air time tonight. <laughs> Marvin, we're fans, my friend, but Kyler <laughs> Vick is the one handling 16 on the near side. We'll see what happens from the shotgun formation. It's going to be a quarterback draw with plenty of help. There goes Bobby into the slide. Is that a late hit after the slide? No. All right. That's going to bring up a big play. We're looking at third down and maybe three, looking for about 10 feet. Well, you talked about grind time. You know, is, is Bluffton, you know, the, the, the clock now is the biggest enemy if you're Hilton Head, and Bluffton wants to uh, milk as much time off this clock as they can. And you know, right here, I would think Hayden Gregory, if he doesn't convert this first down, may play field position and try to pin him deep on the leg of Ethan Cartmel. I don't want to give him the ball back, not with the way they're looking. Either way, it's... Third down, two, that's six feet. With one in the backfield, Bays takes the snap. He will hand it off. Bays, I think he's got it. Oh, he's close. I mean, before that stretch, I think he had it. Number six is once again Aiton Golfin, and we'll see if that chain gang comes on out for another Kevin Severe first down. It's and a that good was spot. Just a great second effort there by Golfin. I mean, he, they looked like they had him stopped in the backfield. And he eluded one tackle and just got it upfield, and I think he got enough. The weight room is showing. That's the difference between winning and losing. That kid had a nice push. Let's we'll see if they're going to bring out the chain gang. You're seeing an injury, JP? Oh, they're measuring. All right, I got to have better ears. So with the chain gang coming out, this is huge. This is huge. 
5.56 to play. A first down here means serious time off that clock, and here it comes. That's a first down brought to you by Kevin Severe. Bobcats in the homecoming game, taking control right here in the den. This is a rivalry game for the ages. Y'all saw an overtime game last year with Marcus. Tell us a little bit more about that one. Well, it uh, went to overtime. Um, Bluffton got an interception, and instead of taking an offensive series, they just decided, Hayden Gregory decided to, go, to put, put the game on his kicker. They kicked it and made it. Bays from the shotgun with... Golf into the near side right. He is going to pitch. It's number 16. That is Vic. Vic is going to get tackled like a pro by number two, Nathan Appy. He has been excellent tonight. Yeah, talking about that game last week, I got to interview Hayden after the game. I've never seen a coach more giddy and excited. <laughs> he just said in all my years of coaching, and he's 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 been around. You know, yeah. we talked about him being at 7A, I think Collins Hill mm -hmm. in Georgia. But uh, he said that was the most fun and most elated he'd ever been after a football game. If you're not having fun on a night like this, there's something wrong with you. No, it's a special game, a special evening, two great teams, uh, great support for both these schools, and it is um, coming down to crunch time as we hit five minutes. Oh, boy, from the spread. I've never seen a coaching style like this, a spread offense to run the clock. Here we go. It's a bomb. Bays. Yes. Oh, boy. How do you like that? Tyler Vick, we know your name now, pal. We know your name indeed. This young man is playing a whale of a second half. I think that's, I've got four critical catches by him here in the second half. Uh, Kevin, did you notice how he high pointed yes. that catch? You're talking about when he jumped and caught the ball at the high point of his jump, hands extended. That is a college level catch. That college is the kind of thing you're going to see catch. on game day. And we talked about these guys, these quarterbacks and receivers working together all off season. That's what you create when you when you work together like that. Is that trust and that chemistry? Owen Bay's knew his man would come up with that ball. Inside four and a half minutes, we have McCauley in the quarterback thirteen. He will take it, and it will be a quarterback sneak. He will get right to about the two yard line. We're going to have that clock continue to wind down as these Bobcats push to take a controlling. I mean, if it's a four-point game and they get a score here, you're going to call yeah. that one pretty much close to... Yeah, that's, I mean, this is the game. That's not game over, but boy, I'll tell you, Bluffton can make it really <laughs> difficult on Hilton Head to get back in, uh, to come back and win this with a score here. And i got to think you're in three-down territory now. Once again, Aiden McCarthy is in your, at your quarterback position. Number 13 will once again go with quarterback sneak. It's McCarthy with a second push. He is close. He's still pushing. That should be the one-yard line. We'll see how the side judge spots it. Very interesting, bringing in this big old quarterback to run it up the gut from yeah, the shotgun, no I, I less. I thought he might have broken the plane there, but what a job. Once again, gang tackling by the Seahawks. That was certainly a flock of Seahawks, but, um, you know, again, if you're Hayden Gregory, you know, this is two-down territory now. you got to get this ball in the end zone. If you don't, you still have uh, Jackson Bybee and crew pinned back at the one-yard line or even inside. We are coming up on three minutes as the play clock winds down. We expect this snap near about the 305 mark. We'll see what we get. But boy, oh boy, they got one play to get in the end zone, and they got another if they really want it. We'll see what they want to do. And they're going to have to call a timeout because of the play clock winding on down. So, folks, we're going to take a timeout with them. This is going to be the play of the game coming up. I hope you all are back for it. We'll be here for you. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the Superior choice. Call Superior today. We connect people to their work, to their families, to all things essential. That's why your Touchstone Energy Cooperative is here every day, making life easier in all the ways that matter. And of all the connections we make, we know none are more powerful than the human connection. Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your source for power and information. Coming up on three minutes to play, these Bobcats looking to win the game with a touchdown. They are up by four points in the fourth quarter. In motion from right to left is number one, Brandon Bryant. We are going to have a stoppage oh before the snap. Is that motion on Bluffton? If it is, that is a 
huge mistake. We'll see oh, what we get. Oh, my goodness, we have I think it is. Oh, no. Encroachment. Offsides. We're getting wow. closer to that goal line. Woo. I mean, the special teams in this game has been remarkable, but you can't expect two onside kicks and a, and a score. Yeah, it, you know, Bluffton scores here. This is probably it's it. It's almost out of reach, but I've seen stranger things, Kevin. It's money time. It is third down, goal to go from the one-yard line. We have seen a quarterback change for Bluffton. Owen Bays, who has been the stud tonight playing against his former team, has been substituted for number 13. That's Aiden McCarthy, who's a bigger quarterback. What has he done? Not throwing the ball. He has done a quarterback draw every single time. Now with two backs to his right from the shotgun for the game. McCarthy. Sends the man in motion. Takes the snap, and he's going to get stuffed. Oh, my God. How about them apples? Whoa. Number two, Nathan Appy seems to realize that is the biggest play of the game so far. Connor Wendell again. What, what a game he's played tonight. I mean, you could give player of the game to so many different players right now. He's one of them. Well, it's time for some strategery. Do you want to get the field goal here and go up by seven where you can still lose with a touchdown? Oh, they got a penalty. That's Oh, another that's penalty? That's huge. That's a procedure penalty against Bluffton. Oh, so they're going to be backing it up. This will be a dis decision time. I don't know all the officials. That looks like Timmy Cahill. I've been wrong before. It is. They're going to decline it. It's fourth down. Oh, they declined that. Wow. That's getting... That's an interesting yep, decision. You're right. It was now, procedure. They're going to take the down. B.J. Payne is really putting all the trust on the back of his defense here. Uh, three amazing stops at the one-yard line. Can they do it one more time? All right. And Hayden Gregory saying, you know, if I don't score here, I'm playing field position. And I'll make you go 90s plus yards. 13 is Aiden McCarthy at the quarterback position. We will see what he does here. He will once again send his man in motion from the left to the right. He's going to pass the ball this time, or will he? he runs up front, and that's going to do it. Hilton has going to have a chance to win this game because of their defense. Kevin, i, I got to wonder, is Owen Bays injured? I, I, I don't understand why you pull him for that entire offensive series. Well, I'll keep an eye out for uh, number five on the sideline. In the meantime, we want to thank our touchdown sponsor, almost on that one, Step Up with TCL, the technical college of the low country. TCL, it's working. No, I see Owen Bay standing up on the, on the sidelines. He with seems, health. He seems fine. I'm just a little puzzled by, you know, I, I, I get why you want to bring a, a, a good physical quarterback like McCarthy in to try to punch it through, but... Um, why you take a, a quarterback who's played the entire game, been your leader, had three touchdown passes, showing that he can also run the ball, why you pulled him in that situation? Strategery. Ooh, that's just a huge stop. We got two minutes to go, and Hilton. these guys, we've seen it. They can, if they can get outside the numbers here and get down the field, they have some of the fastest players that we've seen in this region. You look at number 12, Javarian Hamilton. Yeah, he got a, a face mask when he broke out a, you know, a special teams play earlier in the game. But look, this is the real thing. This is region play. These are the two teams that pass the ball better than anybody save maybe Buford in our area. And with two minutes to play, these Seahawks, yeah, it's a long way to go, but it happened. Yeah, and we talked about quarterback play all night. You know, if you're a quarterback, this is kind of what you dream of, a chance to go 99 yards to win the game. Jackson Bybee will roll out to the far side right. He will actually get that one off for a first down. What a pass. That was pretty good looking. That's going to number nine, Tyler Weidman, a sophomore. That was a good play. A little roll pass, the waggle. I, I love the play. I like getting uh, Bybee outside the pocket there. Um, and they now have a little bit of room to work with and about a minute 40 to, to go on the clock. He did not find the sideline. It was running. We now have a stoppage. Timmy Cahill will figure it out with his side judge. We'll see what we get for a signal. Well, while we wait, I uh, want to give a call out to our touchdown sponsor. We thought we were going to have a touchdown there, but uh, the, uh, the Hilton Head defense said no way. Um, but uh, TCL, step up with TCL, the technical college of the low country. Buford County residents, check out the deal they will give you. It is a heck of a way to get your associates or be whatever you want to be out there in the world. It's working. Jackson Bybee against his former team. I wanted to see if they were going to wind the clock. They are not. Again, we're figuring it out. We'll get you information when we have it. 
It is indeed going to be a timeout, so we'll take it with them. The Bobcats looking to defend their homecoming turf. Can they? You find out next. If you want to protect your loved ones from additional stress and expense, plan ahead with Simplicity Cremation and Burial Services. Planning ahead tells your loved ones exactly what you want for your final wishes and protects them from rising costs. Make your final arrangements today with Simplicity Cremation and Burial Services. Visit LowCountryFuneral.com. That's LowCountryFuneral.com. I think my biggest fear coming back to college was failure. I had failed before, but TCL really did give me that confidence. The professors really want you to achieve and accomplish your goals. And TCL made coming back to college really easy by making it fun, affordable, and providing that place for us to feel like we can succeed and make it work. I would tell somebody that if they wanted to change their life, that this is what they needed to do. One minute, 48 seconds to play. We are in the fourth quarter. Jackson Bybee attempting to lead his Seahawks to a comeback victory against the Bluffton Bobcats here on homecoming night. It will be Bybee looking over the middle of the field. He will roll to his far side to the right. From the sideline, he will. Hamilton got it. BJ says it's a catch. Does the official agree? Boy, the, the official Hilton, fell down. The Hilton, the Hilton Head fans certainly agree that that was a catch. Well, the Chan Gang is. Chan Gang's hanging out. All right, they're moving. We got Kevin Severe first down. I believe he was out of bounds. Now. So 133 and the clock stops. We have a catch. Yeah, BJ Payne's got his offense in the two minute uh, drill. And uh, so far, so good. Two really positive plays and great, uh, great pass conversions. Jackson Bybee getting out of the pocket, rolling to his right and making some very accurate throws. And um, I tell you now, they've only got 70 yards to work with. This can be done. They are bunched to the far side right. Bybee, who has been leaning on Troy Timko most of the game, especially up the gut, now will be looking outside the numbers with his arm. Jackson Bybee looking to lead his Seahawks to a comeback victory Tom Brady style. No kidding. Overlooking his blockers. He takes the snap. He is under pressure. He steps up. He is still under pressure, and he is going to go down. This clock is running. This clock continues to move. Inside one and a half minutes to play. Payne and his staff frantically and frenetically signaling their offense as once again it is Jackson Bybee from the shotgun. Bybee receives the snap. He will look over the middle and have a completion to number seven. Oh, they tried the hook and ladder. Ball's loose. Where's this one gonna go? Bluffton recovers from what we can tell. It's all about where that arm goes from Mr. Cahill in the white hat. He's talking to his side judge. He's talking well, to his... It was a catch. He tried to lateral it. That's, that was I think, possession. I think that's a live ball. The boys are talking about it. We'll see what the stripes have to say. It's only the game, fellas. Number four. But I had it. That's Al Hammonds on the near side who trained me to be a basketball official. I'm a big look fan at, of him. Look at Jeremiah, number four. He, I know. He's like, uh, hello, I'm holding the bread basket. Jeremiah Curry, who's playing linebacker tonight, had a heck of a game. Timmy Cahill is giving them the ball. Whoa! Bobcat Nation, that might just have They can done go it. into the victory formation, Kevin. One minute, eight seconds to play. No timeouts left. Hook and ladder, more than a sandwich. Yeah, you know, and they didn't really need to hook and ladder there. It wasn't there. Um, the Bluffton secondary had pinned the receiver in and there was just no room to convert that hook and ladder and that was the play of the game. As we come into the victory formation I want to thank our victory formation which is always led by our general manager Jessica Jeremiah of WHHI TV. Chris Sanders hanging out doing the sideline camera for us tonight. We love when he's on the staff. Jeremy Pope is our director or Maria Soden more than just our weather person. She's a fabulous above the press box camera person. Her shots are what you're watching right now. DC Daniel Court is my partner tonight. I am Kevin Libby, filling in for Marcus Walsh, the intrepid Marcus Walsh, who is currently in concert portraying Elvis. That is Anil. We got one more coming. 
DC, this is my first play call ever. I want to shout out my high school basketball coach, Bob Rogers. He was the uh, pregame and postgame guy for the Red Sox on Neston, the New England Sports Network, when I was in high school. He's currently a high school English teacher. Bob, you are my inspiration for having become comfortable on a microphone. DC, I hope I get to do this again with you. It sure is fun calling sports with WHHI. Yeah, what a pleasure to be up here. We've been buddies for a long time. First time we've gotten a chance to do this, and it's just been a thrill. And Bob would be extremely proud of you, buddy. You did a great job. DC, it's a community that we live in that makes this place so special. That'll be your ball game, folks. The Bluffton Bobcats have won the Bridge Bowl. It is the homecoming game, and they are champions. Daniel Court, Kevin Liddy coming back with the post-game show. We got the coach, we got the trophy, we got the band. You don't want to miss it, folks. From the Bridge Bowl, we're coming back. We had fun, y'all. More to come after this. Be right back. I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come see us during our 38th anniversary where we have 2023 F-150s at 1.9% financing. Call or come see me today, only at O.C. Welch in Hardyville, South Carolina. Thank you very much. You asked and we listened. Nobo Mattress is growing. We've opened a second location in the village at Main Street. For those who didn't want to cross the bridge, we're now open on Hilton Head Island. Locally, family owned and operated, ranked number one by our customers in service, price, and quality. We have over 250 years in manufacturing in our showroom. Our relationship with our customers does not end with the sale. We can save you 55 to 80% off retail, and that's no bull. Absolutely, Lock Corbeck sneaks and uh, draws working out well. There's a pass to the outside that is gonna be picked, and he's gonna clear out to the end zone. Oh boy, that's a big one. Whoa. Good night, mama, 26 for your Hilton Head Island Seahawks is not on my roster. <laughs> He's not on mine either. All right, well, young man, that was a play of the day. That is Lucas Thibodeau. Thibodeau, Thibodeau. But what a play, what a break on the ball. He, he got, he, he, he read Owen Bay's eyes there, made a break on it, and straight to pay dirt. We talked about uh, one play turning the momentum, that was it. Did you know that the human brain doesn't fully develop until the age of 25? Substance use harms brain development, decision making, and leads to addiction. E-cigarettes negatively affect oxygen supply, endurance, and attention. Marijuana affects reaction time, concentration, and decision making. Alcohol harms endurance, judgment, and complex motor skills. All these negatively affect brain function and development. Make smart choices. Don't let your team down. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Welcome to the post game show, y'all. Kevin Libby, Dale Court, back here with Coach Hayden Gregory. Coach, what a game tonight. That looked like it was a lot of fun. That was awesome. I'm so proud of our football team. Our guys fought through adversity. Bridge Bowl champions, baby. Nothing better. Well, on behalf of WHHI Television, gentlemen, congratulations. This is your trophy. Yeah! Coach, 
This is quite a culture you've built in short time. Tell us about the guys behind us and what made this game so special. Hey, we're I, we're a tough freaking football team. You know, I was listening all week to people talking about this game, saying that we were going to be soft and that we were going to let them run all over us. All right, we really took offense to that because we're a tough freaking football team, right, guys? Yes, sir. All right, we fr we get after it every day. We are freaking grinders. Yeah, we throw a football, but you know, welcome to America. You're allowed to pass. All right. <laughs> so we're a freaking tough football team. Just because we throw a football doesn't mean we can't hit you in the mouth, too. <laughs> Do not give this man bulletin board material. When we come back, we have an MVP trophy for this guy. Y'all will be back right after this. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the Superior choice. Call Superior today. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Here at Island Tire, we like to provide you with peace of mind by using the best with Michelin tires. 19 plants in North America. Seven of those are here in South Carolina. Michelin makes it easy to support local giving because they provide the best quality, top leading innovation and service. Three things Michelin and Island Tire and Automotive Services have in common, quality, innovation and service. Give us a call today. We are back with a very special and very emotional player, our MVP of the game, quarterback Owen Bays. Owen, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. What a job. You know, it was a very difficult decision tonight because we could have picked any number of players. A lot of them, those amazing receivers that you have out there on the outside. We talk about, you know, chemistry. I know you guys work together all off season to have the timing to be ready for a game like this. Yes, you clearly had trust in throwing the ball out there to those guys that they would make the catches. Yes, sir. Um, I can't do anything without my receivers. They do everything for me and my O-line. It's not me it's everybody else I just love my guys they take me, they take me to get to this you're the award winner tonight but this is truly a team game isn't it yes sir for sure it's not just me it's everybody defense too they played a great game well you played on the other side last year didn't you I gotta, I gotta believe that this is kind of sweet for you to get this victory night. This was a huge victory, and as Coach said, uh, a lot of people were counting you guys out. What a huge victory in the history of Bluffton football. Yes, sir, it feels good. I was at Hill Hill last year, but now I'm with my Bobcats. It's better to be a Bobcat. <laughs> Let's go. All right, well said, Owen. Kevin's gonna take us out, but congratulations. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this rivalry is alive. Thank you so much for joining us tonight from the Den on behalf of Bobcat Nation. Kevin Libby, Daniel Court, the whole WHHI TV crew, the Bridge Bowl champions, your Bobcats. Take it away, fellas. Yeah! We'll see y'all next time on WHHI Sports TV.